Thank you for your pledge on Patreon. Theodore Gray. Yo, this Queen Slip. First and foremost, make sure you subscribe. Press the subscribe button. I'm be checking the analytics. And um, subscribers are going up. And turn on your notification. If you want that content, if you want to know when we dropping something, if you want to be on time, not always there when you call, but you're always on time, press your notification button. It's very important that you press that button. It's very important that you subscribe. Now, I'm here to talk to you today about Patreon. I want to let you know how much Patreon helps the platform go forward. Um, it's a lot of exclusive content. You're able to get in contact with me directly. You're able to speak to me and the team. They got Patreon calls. And there is a pledging option to come up to flip the script and watch the show live. No matter who the guest is, no matter what time the guests come, you're there behind the scenes watching the live, able to take pictures and meet the guests directly. Hear the stories firsthand. That's what's important about Patreon. Um, it helps the platform go forward. Um, you know, we just, one of our cameras, we had to get another camera and we're working on getting another computer because we put a lot of wear and tear. And Patreon goes to helping us accomplish these goals. I want us. I want my family to come together. A lot of y'all feel like, yo, we did a lot, we do a lot, we donate. Whatever you're comfortable with. I'm not telling you what to donate. Patreon is a dollar, three dollars, two dollars, five dollars, whatever you're comfortable with. But you will get the behind the scenes. You will get the exclusive content. You will be able to talk to the people that's up there. These are guaranteed things that's going on. We have a team set in place. So a lot of changes that we made, a lot of things happened. Um, a lot of people left the platform and it's okay. You know, we, we, we don't knock them, we wish them the best. And we just wanna come together and bring our family together. We have a couple of hundred pledges. You know, at one point at our peak, we had like over 600 and went down because you know, once the people left or whomever left, a lot of things slowed down because it's just two of us, the co-hosts and the hosts. And G Money has personal things to do, but I dedicate my 100% time to this platform. Me, G Money, dedicates his time to this platform. We're going to the next level. So I ask y'all to just consider. I know a lot of y'all be like, yo, Flip, it's $3 a month, $5 a month. These are monthly things, you know what I mean? I don't know how your pockets is. I'm not knocking your, your pockets. But I know if you want that exclusive content, I know if you want to come up to the studio, I know if you want to speak to us on the phone, I know if you want to know what's going on before it happens, Patreon is the place to go. So I ask you, if you support me, like I support you, like I put out content, subscribe to Patreon. Pledge from Queens. Hey, yo, Flip. Yo. I'm going to put you on some fire, man. They got this new bed wash company. They got the lotion and the, the everything. What's their name? They got a recovery room. It's What's the name? Maestro's, Maestro's Classic. Hey, money's up front. I'm I'll, put you, you I'll put you on. I'll put you on. I'll put you on the you Maestro's, sure? man. You forgot the way I brought you? You forgot where I brought you oh, up there? Oh, man. You forgot? You forgot man. about Ghost? Oh, yeah. Who is what's his name? Ghost. You know again? He cool, man. Yeah. <laughs> Ghost is cool, man. Yo, make sure you get your Maestro's Classic Beard Care products yes. today at Target, CVS, mm -hmm. or go on maestrosclassic.com and use the promo code QUEENSFLIP to get 10% off. 10%? That's it? I thought, it was, I thought it was free if you put your... Are you crazy? All right, I get it. Make sure you go there today. Log on. Maestros with an S dot com. I'm from Queens. G Money. Yo. What's up, man? What's good? What's good? What's good? <sighs> Flip the script, man. Flip the script podcast, huh? Yeah, a big week this week, huh? Big week this week. Yeah, Wednesday, right? Mm. What's up? You talk about it? You talk about it yet? Nah, we ain't talk about it yet, man. All right, you know? cool. But she, she called me. You know mm. what I'm saying? Mm, you know. They're going to just see us on the screen on TV. All right, so everybody just pay attention this week, man. Yeah. It's Friday, right? Yeah. Friday, Friday. It comes out Friday. All right, it's pay attention. Yeah, so this Friday. by the time I guess the, the clip will be out. So, you know, yeah, possibly. You know, possibly. But, you know, let everybody know what's going on. Are you excited? Have you spoken about it to your, to your close friends? You know, I speak about it. Yeah, yeah. I know you speak to people about it, but I'm asking you. I didn't broadcast it crazy. I'm, I'm, I just want to make sure it go through first. And then, you know, once we. Same thing with the, with the, with the, with the payment. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Same thing with the Huh? Yeah, so we get paid, huh? Be sure, man. Yeah. You know, I tell you something. You like you don't believe me. I do. Nah, nah. I gotta get at you. No, you don't. You don't really believe me, man. You be. Why do you doubt so much your friend, bro? Been friend for over over, over thirteen years, bro. Hmm. <laughs> How? Why? Why? What? what the doubting is not good. G. There's no doubt, man. I just like to see things go through. You know, <laughs> I feel I feel a lot better when <laughs> when it's done with. You know, but everything saying? is alright with you. Yeah, everything? man. Shout shout to uh, you know you know it's. The, the, the emails and, and the DMs is racking up crazy, man. Shout out to Plain Boy Society one time. You know what I'm saying, Queens? 
got the whole Queens on here, you know what I mean? So, so you officially started your promo run as far as like clothing promo run for Flip the Script. You officially started. Yeah, yeah They, they asked going. me. Nah, it's gone. Yeah, so. If it, somebody flipped on me, like, yo, why would you and G Money Price be different? They flipped on me. Well, it's different, two different people. Two, two That's two what I told them. I said, I'm, much, I'm a much bigger person as far as the size. G Money's much bigger. Different. Yeah, size of clothes, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and they was like, you know, they was like, yo, why would it be y'all on the, the same show? But I just told them, yo, G Money is more of a person. I'm for the people, but uh, nah, I'm not for the people. That's it. Sorry, That's it. Because people don't give a fuck about you. That's how I feel. I hear you. At the end of the day, but you got love. They don't really give a fuck because once we slip up, it's over. They're going to bash us. Facts. I knew it, you corny ass niggas. Ah, tomatoes. <laughs> now, yeah. I, really, I, I really love the people, but you more, you know, you you you, you more like, because of my experience, you mm-hmm. know, I tend to just take a back seat and go from a business perspective, but you, you're you more like, you know, you give everybody a chance. That's why I like. I kind of envy that, man. I kind of I wish I had that determination and drive to do that. Oh, you know what? I just know how it feels to to, to to receive love, you know what I'm saying? Like and, and, and not receive love for certain people. You know what I'm saying? Like people look at us on this platform at, you know, not saying that we're not upper up echelon, but we, we can you know, they see us and they view us as like this these big these two big uh uh personalities, you know what I'm saying? So for us to shop people out or, you know, or show people love, it's a, it's a big deal for them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? For us it's kinda like, ah, whatever, you know what I'm But some people it's like, yo, my name was mentioned on the platform, bro, or on the screen. You, when you show love in the beginning of the show, mm-hmm. that probably make people a whole week. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. their whole day is like is is, is amazing now because I, of the little joint. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm gonna change my, my move. <laughs> I think I'm gonna change my move. Right? On you that just... note, shout to uh. Oh let me see, my hold on. god! I had, I had a shout out in the comments, man. I'm, I'm in the comments. You know, you got the kind of see. I'm in. Look, 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 look. Phone, I'm in bro. the comments. Look, G Money, shout me out from San Diego with love. Shout to Ashy Black. In the comments, you know what I'm saying? San Diego. Well, that might have been the girl that you met that day out there in San Diego. Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, but this next guest, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready to turn up, man. And you know, when oh, I start, man. I'm just gonna zip right here. I ain't gonna take it off completely because uh, when it get hot, I'm gonna turn up. That kind because of show man, tonight? Man, man was back there asking me what you mean. You're gonna turn up as long as you do it with honor. Oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? He must don't know. Yeah, yeah, but he was ready. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And and he was correcting. You know what I'm saying? You know one of those people that that that, that he's not afraid to speak. Mm. You know one of them niggas in the background that come up and say, "Hold up, fuck up! What's going on here?" Like that's he remind me of that. He, okay. he, he gonna speak his mind and let okay. you let it be known. And he's gonna do it with honor. It should be a good show then. It yeah, well, good. hopefully it is. <laughs> hopefully it is. But G Money, yo, ready? Let's do it. We skipping episodes too, man. We gotta do oh right. Yeah, we gotta write it on the board. We gotta have a meeting. Gotta get a new assistant. <laughs> she left. She <laughs> left, but no, actually, she communicated. Uh, shout out to you know, yeah, shout out to Nazis. Um, oh, know, yeah, she helped me out yeah. too. Uh, whoa, 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 we didn't introduce you yet, bro. My bad. My bad. G <laughs> <laughs> Money. Yo. Episode motherfucking one nineteen. Nigga, we, we made, made it. it. We got a special guest. Man, it's gonna be a good one. Philly in the building. Mm. Oh, here, here. This man, you know, he claims to snatch your honor. Mm-hmm. He also brought me a pound of sea moss. Really? And I sat here and I, I, I sat here and I'm trying to think like, and I asked him, "What do I do with this?" <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I paid attention. I got the whole because my cousin, like I told him, my cousin owns a uh, Ujama health food store in, mm. in Brooklyn, and they, I know, you know, but I didn't mm-hmm. listen. But I listened to him. You listen to your peers. Mm. King Earn in the building. Round of applause one more time, please. Yo, what's yeah, up, yeah. my man? What's going down, baby? I salute. salute. Can you introduce your comrade, please? Oh, this is my brother, man, Luke, Luke Moss. Luke Moss. You know, everybody. He don't need no introduction. So, man, how you doing? What's going on? I'm all right. I'm You like an angry guy on the low. You all right, man? <laughs> yeah, nah, yeah, you know. You like you be angry on the low, man. You one like, of right. the people that try to force your smile, man. We, <laughs> no, it's like a uh, defense mechanism. People Respect. leave me alone. Mm. Respect. Free AR um, app. I see it. We're going to get into all yeah, that. Yeah, like that. Like that. Yeah, it's all. We're going to get into yeah. all that. So, 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 so. What's up, man? Um, uh, talk to King me. King Erna Hill. Who, who, who is King Erna? So, talk to us. King For those Erna who don't is, know. A, is an individual who came a long way, changed his life around, but, you know, I still got my issues. Okay. My issues is rats, of course. Hmm. Y'all already know. And um, those who create dishonor in the community based off of falsehood that call themselves a part of our people. Mm. You know, so King Gurner is, is, is a dude who's coming from childhood abuse, prison, long prison time, um, going through the struggles of trying to uh, 
get a dollar, but legally. Mm. We just brought up AR Ab. And Ab is the, really the first person that called me King Erna. Mm. I used to be inside of a studio that we had. And in that studio, you know, we was all, they was making music. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to get to a dollar. And I started selling popcorn. We called it Honorable Popcorn. Mm. Um, and it, it was yeah, making like three, popcorn. the Honorable Popcorn, $300, $500 a day, sold as juices. You know, I could have picked up, you know, and went out in the, in the community and done something negative. But Ab accepted me in doing these positive things to the point where as though that's all I wanted to do. So I always wanted to find something, you know, that we could do that had to do with either entertainment or reality. Mm. You know what I mean? We came out with a joint, me and him. When I wanted to run, um, he went with me. You know what I'm saying? It's my brother, like my real brother. Mm -hmm. um, always been teaching me, trying to show me how I can gain something good in it, you know, in positivity, but right. somehow our anger, our past get the best of us and we miss out. We went away, both of us, when we came home. We Before we went away, we came out with Ernest. Mm -hmm. Ernest was, you know, Kind of all right. That's kind of good. He got a he got an LLC in that. Mm -hmm. Um, we t it took off, but he used to be moving around like selling them chones like water. I used to try to get him off, but you know he do he got a lot of music that he do. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, I still had some growing up to do. You know, cause the music I love it. You know, the reason why I love it cause it teaches a re reality, but also it still keep you in your youth. Right. So I come a long way, but I, I sell CMOS now. You know what I mean? I could be selling coke. I could be, you know, running mm -hmm. around with pistols on me. Instead, I'm selling CMOS, and everybody know about it. I just gave him a pound of it. I'm telling y'all now, he's going to come back in his joint in a couple of days, like four pounds. <laughs> so gonna be, he's going to be. I, we got some soap in the car for him, too. We didn't. I, I, I forgot. My wife forgot. And try to soap. Married. This is not even a hype. The soap is great. Mm. And this ain't no promo. We just talking because it's like no, it's it really good. works. Right, right. Nothing else. Let's it get works. into that. Let's, let's get into that a little bit later. Though. I, right. I, I want to get back to the earlier stages of, of King Erna. You know what I'm saying? So right. You from? I'm from Philly. Born and raised. Born and raised. Philly, Philly Broad Island section. See, because you got North Philly. I got to explain this. Yeah, talk to us. You got your North Philly. You got your South Philly, and you got um, you got Uptown. Mm -hmm. But on a map, Uptown is North Philly if you're not living in. Philadelphia, mm. but in Philadelphia, Uptown is in North Philly. Okay, you know, like the old old schools might say it, but if you're in these times, they're gonna say they're from Uptown. Mm. I say I'm from Broad and Alley. I'm not saying I'm from Uptown either. I really have to express that I'm from Broad and Alley because at a time, we was dudes that really, you know, we couldn't get no 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 leeway in the streets, nor in the jails. But I was one of the dudes that held it down in the jails and got my respect, and on the streets. Mm. But you know, as y'all know, I snatch on it, man. So a lot of people mad at me, <laughs> but I don't care about that. <clears throat> Keep trying to, you know, we, we take things baby steps here. Right. So I know you like to jump the gun, but let's right. slow down. Okay. We want to know about the childhood of King Erna. Right. You also said you went through abuse. We want to know about right. all that. We get deep into the crevices of the crack. Pause. Let's right? get there. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah. So we get deep. Keep chill. We get deep, man. It's an impressive he time, he time, to, You know when somebody got something to say, he want to get, we know you want to snatch honor. Right, you know I want to snatch somebody. I want to talk about the honor around snatching. Yeah, yeah. I want to talk about the thing about rats and what you consider a rat. I want to get in all that. But right. we want to know about, because you, you did say something, you try to speak fast. See, the right. deep voice doesn't overshadow. We listen. Right. You listen. said abuse. We want to get into the childhood. Okay. Facts. Okay? We want to get into childhood. Don't, you ain't, you ain't going you to escape. All right. Well, well let's get there because. Take um, us back one time. Seven years old, I say about seven years old, from seven to nine, you know, I grew up in the house with my mom, but my grandmother always took care of her. She was mm -hmm. the one that, you know, made sure the bills was really taken care of. You know, you would think the woman who has the apartment or the, the home is the one that do that, but she, was, she wasn't responsible. And her thing was trying to be in the streets. She wanted to keep up because my grandmother always spoiled her, but she kept her inside. So when she did finally got out, got married, turned to a different person. And um, I'm gonna say from the ages of like me being born to like seven years old, in between seven and nine, abuse was uh, her aggression, 
her thing was, if you was a boy, a man, you wasn't going to do no crying. Any crying you done, punched in your chest. We not trying to hear none of that. Um, mm. Anything that got to do with any form of disrespect, right. she was all over it. But she had a boyfriend mm -hmm. who used to abuse her and he used to kill me. And, you know, being as though, you know, my, my life at that time was like minister society came. Mm -hmm. I'm the same dark skinned little boy with the with the yellow uh pajama joint on with the footsies who peeking out the window oh, okay. seeing out his out of his room watching his mom hustle all night. Got you. And you know, it, it it turned me on, but I really didn't like it. You know, when I say it turned me on, I wanted to be like my mom. You know what I'm saying? My dad wasn't really around. He wanted to be, but my mom wouldn't allow him. Mm. And one night our boyfriend came in and tried to, you know, he wanted to fight her at the one of her little car parties, and she killed him right in front of me. Oh, I'm talking, I had to be about that time, like I said, in between the seven and nine, because I always say nine, but I got with my, I, I moved with my grandma that nine. So at that age, my mom, after she stabbed him, she made me jump over him. Anybody that's from Philadelphia that can vouch this, Marsha Thomas, Sean Thomas, all of them was my next door neighbors. They love me to death still, they are my family. Um, she ran downstairs, and when I ran downstairs with her, she told me, listen, this the rules. I done what I just done, but anybody that seen that was you. It was only you. Nobody else seen it. Mm. So don't nobody else know. And I lived on Park, I mean, I'm Kamak and Nidro at the time, so when she, if you looked out the window, you seen like another little apartment is right next door to it, Kamak and Nidro. She threw the knife on that roof, and I was the only one that knew that. But um, he didn't die right away. He died some weeks later, and um, I was in and out of foster home. My aunt, she stepped up like she wanted to ride for me, but she really didn't. So I stayed in the foster home for a minute. My grandmother um, wound up saying, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and take him. And when she took me, I was just wild, and I ain't care, you know what I mean? I was rebellious. I wasn't trying to hear anything, anything she said. And I can remember my last visit at my mom, she bailed out. And um, they never really charged her with the homicide. I forgot how it went. Like she got she got like a manslaughter or something like that, or they threw it out. I forgot how it went. But um my grandmother spent a lot of money getting her out of jail anyway. But taking care of me, I was spoiled at that age. You would think I'm coming from that type of trauma, but I'm somebody trying to give me everything. And now I'm like, no, nah, I wanna be like my mom. I wanna be a killer, I wanna do these things. And I ended up going to jail at the age of 13 to 16 for a bunch of robberies and stuff I was doing. I got my grandparents getting out their bed. They don't want to be bothered with it, but, you know, they still putting out their bread. And um, I come home at 16, had a situation with a friend of mine. Um, me and him had a disagreement. We was rumbling, and he wound up dying. And when he died, you know, at first... It was like a thing where, though, you know, like I knew he died, but I was younger. I wasn't trying to embrace that because it was like we was fighting. It wasn't a thing where though, I was out in the streets looking for a dude to kill. It wasn't something intentional. So it would bother me, but it never bothered me to the point where, though, I wanted to, you know, lock myself up. And I had some good dudes that was around me. And the youngest watching this need to pay attention because these dudes was getting more involved with me doing crime than anything. And these dudes just told on me. They all got in the stand and booked me in. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I wound up getting, my grandmother put out a lot of money. I wound up getting 11 and a half months, 11 and a half, 23 months on, um, for involuntary manslaughter. When I came home, I went right back. But my grandmother, she was a soldier. She was running for me. I don't care what it is. We can have a disagreement. If I call her from the joint, she coming. And um, from 17 to like 18, like I said, that 19, I came home and I caught an attempted murder that I didn't do. Dude lied, said I shot him in his face. But back in the day, you know, we used to take Xanax. Does anybody from Philly know about that? And them Jones, you wake up, you don't even remember what you've done. So I honestly don't remember me doing it, but I know I didn't do it. It's like, I know I didn't, but somehow they got a, a list of things that I've done. That's me, and everybody is like, you done it. I beat it, you know what I'm saying? My grandmother put a lot of money then, put another, put the house up again for mortgage, wow. bailed me out and all that, you know, so. Um, I went to jail around 22 for um, 
for drugs, for calling in the pharmacy, like I was a doctor. And um, it kind of gave me some understanding that I had a brain, you know what I'm saying? When I went away, six years, I wound up getting indicted. And when I got in, I was on my way home, and it was about April of 2008, I lost my whole immediate family because I was in prison. Everybody was gone, my grandmother, she gone. Um, my grandfather still was holding on though. He, my grandfather just passed like a year ago, but it was in there where I became a man that, to understand that I can't come out here and mess up. Because if I came out and messed up, I ain't had nobody really to hold me down. I ain't nobody gonna pay them bells like that. And you know, I had a couple fender benders where I was in the can since I've been out here, you know, $2 million bells. Hmm. But God blessed me because he knew I was innocent to get out of them situations. You feel where I'm coming from? <clears throat> Let's back up a little bit, Michael Jackson. Let's moonwalk a little bit. <laughs> so Mama Love, you right. watched Mama Love kill her. Do you remember that night? Like, was he attacking her? Yeah, he was abusing her. He was. Um, he would always do it. His name was Mr. Dennis from back Germantown and Wayne Avenue. Mm -hmm. She met him back there. He was real cool back there. We, he was like, he wasn't as abusive, but he was abusive then. And um, when we um, moved in the Islandly section of Philly, it seemed like he, you would think that's where my family is from, the Broad and Islandly section. You know, that's where they moved that from North Philly. But you would think that he would be less abusive, but he wasn't. You know, he was real. She was more in the streets too. But the dude she had around, man, was soft at the time. She only had one dude that was a good man, Mr. Jimmy. That he wasn't my mom's girlfriend. He was like a friend of her that lived next door. And um, he would be the one that get into these different, you know, disagreements with different men for my mom. My dad one day jumped out there and beat Mr. Dennis up real bad. But when she killed him, it was like he was asking for it. Where, where was your dad? You know what I'm saying? Yo, I'm, could you man go out? To, yeah. He tried to throw him. Tell, 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 uh, tell us about um, your dad. Your mom didn't want your dad around. You yeah, said she, she didn't want she, him around. Why she didn't want your dad around? She was my mom, right? She was so spoiled and she had so much. She was so beautiful. She didn't expect to marry my dad at 17 and she was a virgin. Mm. She gave herself to him and he was like, he became something else. He used to be a my dad a good dude now, man, but at the time he was still TVs and all type of stuff out of people's cribs. So my mom was like the type of individual that kind of like wasn't with that. So to get with him and him be a cheater and all of that, my thing was like, what was that reason for? Like, you know, he drove her to a mindset that she didn't really, you know what I'm saying? Have she wasn't on that vibe or, or that tip, she was on something totally different that didn't have nothing to do with anything, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But, um, I think it was more of more, she lost her mind, mm -hmm. she lost her brother around the same time. I believe that she just <clears throat> embraced the streets and just gave up, you know what I mean? She started getting high back then, she would go cop and I would be behind her and I can hear her snort, and I'd be like, damn, why don't I don't. The next day, that's how I found it out. When I'm going to school, I would find the bags all on the floor. Like, mm. damn, that was around the same time. When we in school, you would hear our mothers copping out on the strip. You know, cussing people while my mom was always violent. You know what I mean? I had another situation with my mom when I was younger. She loved violence. That's what made me love violence so much. And um, she had a man that was in the house that she was staying at. It was a crack house. But, you know, she was cleaning it up, making it, you know, feasible for her to live in and he didn't like that and he wanted to have sex with her. Now she was everything except for a trick. Mm -hmm. I mean, she done it all. And I guess he was trying to touch her or whatever. And when I came over there one day, the house was rearranged. Everything is together. I come upstairs. I'm like, mom, where Mr. I forgot his name. Where he was? He was off of Ogas and Sparks. And she was like, he, he up there. And I was like, where he at? Mr. Ed was her boyfriend at the time, Eddie Long's. He said, go downstairs, man. And I go downstairs. She was like, no, take him upstairs and show him him. And when I got upstairs, he was like in a back room and he was laying back there and he was on the floor and he was like watching the TV and you can tell he'd been bleeding. So she was bringing him rags up there. They couldn't stop the bleeding, but he was dying. She didn't stab him mm -hmm. because he came at her. She claimed sexually, but that was her thing. 
in a neighborhood when I used to, I wouldn't allow people to sell our drugs. I would fight anybody that know me from Broad and Alley, both sides. I would fight, shoot, do whatever I can do, because I wasn't, you know, you wasn't gonna sell my mom no drugs. So she would move to another neighborhood, but she wound up getting on drugs so black she went in and out of institution for mental issues that she had. You know, a lot of people play that mental issue about, you know, disability and stuff like that. And that put her in a position where she really became a little messed up. And, you know, um, when she passed away, you know, it hurt me, but at the same token, I was, I've been accepted that about her. But you would think that I would have loved it because this is what I wanted to become. Hmm. Well, so real quick, how'd she get caught? <clears throat> pardon me, how'd she, how'd she get caught with, with the murder? That was nothing to her, I she never. She didn't, she didn't get caught with that? But I mean, you know what, I think about it now. For her life to go in the direction she did, she didn't cope with it well. Cause she was regular before then. But he asked how she got caught. How she got caught with, on, on the murder. Oh, how did she get caught? What you mean? Like when, when, you, cause you said you was the only one that saw her, so you ain't say nothing. So how did she end up getting? No, caught? she went up getting booked like on a tip. Whereas though, you know, oh, while we was downstairs, remember I sat through the knife out the window. Mm -hmm. That night, she when she was down, they know she still loved him or whatever. She called the cops, or they called the cops and said that he was up there dying, and I, she kept telling me he dying. I can hear it because she kept saying that. When a person coughs, or when they cough, and like you can hear them coughing real heavy hard, mm. that that was their last breath. So I, even younger, I would think of that. But um, she went on the run. I don't know how, like where they caught her at, you know, how they caught her or whatever the case. Mm. But the case with the, the guy that ended up dying in the house, her boyfriend, Mr. Ed, he wound up catching, doing the case, and got him, he got a manslaughter charge too, and went up hunting him. Cause I know my mom came back home to my grandmother's house and was staying there, you know what I'm saying? But it was a time in my life, like I hated my mom, but I loved her, but I was real disrespectful, like standoffish. I don't want her to come to the house for my grandmother to listen to me because she was killing my grandmother. But I don't want her to kill her, but the same token, I'm in and out of jail. You know what I'm saying? What you mean killing your grandmother? Like, you know, stressing her out, worrying her, gotcha. always coming in the house. Like my mom had a thing, she'd give my grandmother a bankroll. Mm. Hours later, she's banging on the door, but she want the bankroll back. My grandmother like, nah, you just gave me the money, you told me don't give you the money. Hmm. So, you know, I'm singing that and I'm like, nah, mom, you can't come here. But the same token, I'm getting I'm getting caught up in shootings and selling drugs and out right. of jail, doing the same thing. My grandfather wasn't my blood grandfather, but he stood in place and he took care of all of us. I'm talking about there wasn't a bell that I had that I didn't meet. There wasn't a commissary that I missed. It wasn't a visit that I missed. Even when my grandmother passed away, my grandfather would slide up. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So it was like a double-edged sword for me. I was, I was kind of, I was, I was raised horrible by my mom, but my grandparents raised me to have whatever I want and to have accomplishments. But I never gave her that. My last time on the visit, I seen her. She said, "You better than this," and I couldn't get it. Like, damn, first time I'm better than this. I'm kind of liking this. But years later, as I become a man, I'm like, damn, you know, I ain't, but this ain't really, what's this? This ain't nothing. Don't add up to nothing. You know right, what I right. mean? You had any siblings? Or you have any siblings? I got a little brother and a little sister by my dad. He got, he got a, um, he got children. Mm. We got, a, we got a somewhat relationship. You know what I'm saying? Um, me and my sister got a little agreement that we got going on now. You know what I mean? Where I'm helping out, but that's based off of me just being more responsible than I was, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. At one time I wasn't responsible because of, I had them to like pick up the responsibility all the time, you know what I mean, no matter what it was. Right. But as I got older, I began to learn it and get a concept that responsibility is what a man is here for, really, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So those siblings, they, they, you said younger than you, so they didn't grow up in the same atmosphere or the same? No, the same... My, well they, they actually, honestly, they grew up up the street from me. My dad had two other children, right? Mm. And their mother was on drugs. And they was right up the street though. But me and my little sister, we had a run in when I went to the feds. I guess she heard the, you know, the money, the stuff they said I had. And she was like, dad, you wouldn't give us anything. Mm. And it was like, give y'all something. My dad was taking care of y'all and he ain't take care of me. You know, I always resented that. Like, mm. damn, how could you be such a good man to them, but you wasn't a good man to me. 
But as I got older and became a man and see how certain things happen with women and men, it's like, oh, let me shut up. Because he hmm. was trying to play his position, you know what I mean? So, what was your first, okay, so you, early you said uh, from 13 to 16 you went to right. jail. You was giving trouble. And then, tell us about, you said you end up killing your friend by mistake. Yeah. You guys were playing and you ended up killing him. No, what ended up happening was there was a friend in the neighborhood, a rat, by the name of Jamal Warren. It's sad, but it's the truth. Now you guys are getting understanding why I dislike him. I mean, he what he done was he convinced us to go buy drugs off of Steve. Steve got Zan Nexus. We're going to take him. When we get to Steve, we're taking him. Cool, we're getting to Steve. We're going to take the drugs. We get to Steve to take the drugs when we get the pills. We all start dumping the pills. Steve not really concerned about me because we sat next to each other and like graduation, it was cool. But with them, he wanted his money. But the rat, the one that took us, had $50 and said, here, I'm paying for mine. So that made me and the other guys that took it from him and already popped the pills look like we was the ones trying to do something to him. And he wanted to fight a friend of mine by the name of Melvin Bali, a good friend of mine. And when he done that, I instantly jumped in it because I believe if I bring you with, with me and you didn't have nothing to do with it, I'm going to take all that. And me and him fought. And his brother was there. He couldn't accept that. What happened, you know what I'm saying? And I messed my hand up. My hand still messed up to this day from that. Um... When I seen him, we was driving, we took, we was young. So we took, we took a car from some old heads that was around him, what's name? He was a good, he was like a friend, it was like he gave it to us. And we riding around, I got my man, I got Aaron in the car with me, Aaron in a wheelchair. Hmm. And we riding around the whole North Philly, robbing, my man Dame was with me too, we robbing, snatching earrings, snatching chains, doing everything possible, you know, robbery, whatever it, it was. And the car that we're in ran out of gas. And when it ran out of gas, we was all down North Philly, right there, like 15 miles Susquehanna, right around that area. Or bro, Diamond, right off of Broad Street. And when the car pulled up, it was them in the car. And they like, oh, a guy by the name of Keith was driving. And he said, Jamal Warren, still around us, you know. He said, damn, um, you know, can you take us around the corner to get some gas? Our car, because we couldn't tell the reader, the cat, the guard, the gas ran off. My cousin Slink that was with us at the time, he ran and took some money from a smoker, got us some gas. We go around there to get the gas. And when I'm getting out the car with Steve, because they took us around there, Steve and the guy. And when we got around to the gas station, I shook, wanted to shake everybody's hand. Even Steve, because I know we had to fight, but it wasn't that deep with me. And he was like, nah, don't shake my hand. You, I see your hand messed up. You know, um, we got to rumble. When your hand get better, we rumble. I said, nah, I took, you know, we... When we come up, it was different. I took off the, the bandage, the rumbling, hmm. and we rumbled, but it turned into like a a big free fall. And a free fall was where individuals was throwing bricks and stuff like that, including myself. They testified that I beat him with a brick. The coroner testified that there was no one beat with a brick. It was a punch to the face and he fell center on the center block. You know how the cards we have in the center blocks on them? And he just happened to hit his head directly on there and it killed him. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that when, when people see King Gurner, when I'm aggravated, I'm upset, and I'm yelling about rats, it's ain't because of, I've been I've been abused by a man lawfully. You know what I'm saying? It ain't something that I'm talking like, you know, you might get the joke out of it, but at the end of the day, it's serious. Bunch of William O'Neill's. Y'all know who that is. No, I don't. <laughs> William O'Neill was the security for the Black Panther Party. He set him up. He was part of their downfall, including the drugs and stuff that came in. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's always somebody that seems to be a part of some type of organization right. that, that try to bring it down. So he wasn't dead on the scene. Was He He died right then and there, and then they told on you? No, or? no, no. He died. He died about... Uh, it might have been about a week or two later. Okay, and then the people testified that you beat him with a brick. They lied on you. Exactly. Got you. Okay. And it showed that if I did, it, why would I had 
um, second degree murder because I'm going to do a robbery along with that turned into that. You dig what I'm saying? That second degree in Pennsylvania. It wasn't like that. It was more of a thing where the first joint was like that, but then the second one I was kind of like shaking his hand. Like, what's going on? And the judge saw that, you know, and thankful to God that I was able to come out of that. Sad that I was just saying, I was just telling my wife that I was going in the store today early and I saw his mother. Hmm. And she grabbed me and kissed me. And I was like, whoa. Some other things that had transpired. But <clears throat> it just, it haunts me. Like, it bothers me all the time. It's like always something that's there. You can't escape it. You know, the mindset I had then was, so, you know, but, you know, I mean, just truthfully, I didn't care, friend or not. Now it's like, damn, every chance I get, I'm seeing something that reminds me rather is his nephew, his, his brother, you know, family members that make you be like, God damn, this wasn't intentional. This is something that was an accident, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you can take it back, but at the time it was like, so. You know, but when you know when you get old after doing them things, you begin to reflect off them. If you're grown old in this and you're not getting harmed or getting hurt, what you expect to happen? If a dude gonna go on a negative route and, and, and fall and be like, man, I'm gonna keep like that. That's a savage. I'm not a savage. Fredo was, man. <laughs> Let's just be truthful. How many months you did behind that? I done. A, I got eleven half to twenty three. I was out in seven, six and a half, seven months. I was out. Judge told me Darnell Jones, Darnell C. Jones, he told me that if I get my GED, he'll let me out. Mm -hmm. I got my GED and my judge got me back in front of the judge. And anybody that was there that remembered that his grandfather stood up and said that he'll never like me, he hated me. And the judge replied, we understand that your grandson isn't here anymore, but his family wants him back out also and paroled me. What was the vibe like after that in, in, in the streets now that, you know, the people know? You know, the average the average corny stuff. Mm. Status up here. Everybody gets more fear. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's an accident. Y'all looking for some type of, uh, y'all want me to be King Kong for something I ain't mean to do. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So. Were you afraid to, in, in the street? I mean, I know you was holding it down, but, you know, were you... Mm. Any kind of retaliation, anything like that? No, nah, it was more or less I, I, I wanted that because I was silly. You know what I'm saying? You look for that type of nonsense when you enter that. The same woman I was telling you that walked up to me today and kissed and hugged me, she done it one time, but it was different. She walked up, she said, Hanif, that's my, that's my name. She said, I don't want to see you out here doing the wrong things to get back in jail after you killed my son. Wow. And I said to her, we, you know, we, we was doing... Me and a good friend of mine in a wheelchair by the name of Aaron, we was back there spray painting um, cars that we had took from different hack dudes and stuff, you know? So that hit me too. Damn, she come tell me that, man. Why she tell me that? You know what I mean? Just be life sometime. Just happy the fact that it wasn't me because he was coming the same way, though. Right. You know what I mean? Like, that fight wasn't like the first fight. That fight was more of him. I had one hand. It was going there, but it was like a free fall when I got, start getting, my homies was letting it go down. Like, go ahead, they rumbling. And when it turned to me, his friends jumped in it. And it, it turned to what it turned into, you know. To this day, I can't stop it. You know, I think about him and I'll be like, damn, I wonder if he would have had kids. I even asked his family. Hmm. Like, when they used to be out in the court case, like I, they, I was out on bail doing this case. You know, people say you don't get bail on a homicide. Back then, you got bail on that. You got, I had general murder where they don't have a level of first or second degree. You were able to get bail for third degree. And I had involuntary manslaughter. They knew where it was going to. And they gave me a $250,000 bail for me to go home on that. You know what I'm saying? And I was out like the next day. My, my grandmother made sure she got it up for me. So, you know, you start beginning to think them, them things are cool when you're in a cell. The reality don't never hit you until you then done most of your time, most of your life in prison. Right. It never hit you right then and there because you don't you don't care. Um, I have a question. Do you think that if your father was around, you, you would have turned out the way you did? No. If he was more around, do you think that if he was around, you would have still been the way you were? Or no, you don't think? 
I would have been a better person if my father was around. Doing the right thing for me, like with me. Like the crazy part about it, he was try. He, my dad, when I was very young, see, I can remember up to two years of age, mm -hmm. my dad um, would take me to sports, have me playing baseball and all that, and I liked those things. But I would always get jealous and cry when he tell me he's coming to get me. And the family, like he don't come, he's with another family that bothers you. Like what? Mm -hmm. The hell, I ain't good enough to come. You know what I'm saying? So I always reneged him. I mean, me and my dad used to go at it for so many years. Me and my dad just started really, I let my dad, like one of my cases was um, being a guy with a bat. God lied and said I beat him with a bat rather. 37 times he lied. And um, he put me in a bad position because I was doing it. I protected my dad, bottom line. I was trying to make sure my dad was good. And the bat was a lie. But you know, if someone come into your home and talk cute to you under the castle doctrine, you're you're able to protect yourself. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And um, he done something that bothered me, that he didn't hold it down, and I had to go away. And it was like, damn. Your dad? Yeah, it, it bothered me. Like my brother had to step up. You know what I mean? And hold me down, like in a in a in a real situation where as though I could have lost everything. Like I mean, everything, not some of the things but everything, and it was like, you know, it bothered me, but now we're getting past that. Now that I'm older, he's retired and stuff like that, you know what I mean, it's, it's beautiful. It's getting better, you know, you can see the good well, time. What, 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 what did he do, he told him, he tell him you? Who, who my father? Yeah. No, 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 no. You know what was crazy though? It was a situation like that kind of though, for a while, he'll tell you, I was, look, I was trying to figure out, did he do something on me? Like, did he say anything about me? But he held his water. He was 100%, he didn't do that. So I gotta love him for it, I gotta honor for him, I gotta thank him, even when my mom passed recently, you know, that was that was big for me because I had to do it myself out of my pocket. Anybody that know about that, that's not a joke. And on top of that, you know, whether they got insurance or not, you be waiting for the cause of death forever and that bread be logged up so the stuff that you done good, positive, you'll get tested with it. What was your jail, um, jail time like when you was in? Um... Beautiful. Beautiful? I never missed a commissary. Um, it's, I never liked prison. It was always miserable in reference to my mind. But you couldn't tell if you see me. My everyday understanding of life was smile. But I had a law. I had God. I, I, I took to Islam um, years prior to that. Um, I was one who was a Christian for years. I wound up accepting Islam and... Um, it was deep for a lot of people. Like they couldn't believe it. Like, yo, he, this boy is a Christian. He's a full bloody Christian. <laughs> what do you mean? You know what I mean? So, when did you go to the feds? Uh, I went to the feds in two thousand and four. Two thousand four. Why? Um, for gun and drugs. What happened was um. At the time, they was doing a lot of different um, indictments, but they was doing like adoption from ca adoption cases. Like, say you caught a case, but you had a lot of bad background. The the the, um, the district attorney will shoot it over to the. See, you keep beating it, and they'll you know they'll bang you. But I had a lot of other stuff that surrounded it though, right. where individuals um, were, were were saying things about me that wasn't true, and those things were coming forth, and it was like. Well, let's find out if they tr if they're the truth. And um, mm -hmm. I got booked. I wound up going away for uh, my lawyer got the gun. That, you know, he was trying to do the nine two four E armed career criminal. Mm -hmm. What they ended up doing was uh, they couldn't do the nine two four E because it never was on my indictment from the beginning. Only thing I had was nine two two G, which is a simple gun possession and a simple cocaine possession. They wanted to enhance it and say that I was selling the drugs. You can't prove that. Though. You can prove that, you know what I mean? Um, the feds was where I knew I wasn't gonna do crime no more. Stuff I was seeing that happen. The, um, you know, the, the setting up, the, the lying, the, the fake friends, even inside the prison, you know, you might put some money on somebody, books before you know it. You can't get no more, uh, what do you call that? You can't get commissary for another week or two. Hmm. 
You know what I mean? Stuff like that. It was just, the feds made me a man and, and made me understand it. She don't remember, but uh, my wife don't remember, but uh, when she was, because she done sometimes, done 10 years. Who? My wife did. She was away for, for a while. She got a book coming out and everything called um, Girl, uh, Gorilla. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. So, wow. I had said something to her because I didn't know a friend of mine was on the same block with me. That was her man, right? So I see it and I say, damn, she don't remember it. But I say to her, damn, how you doing or whatever? I so like him. She's like, right, what's up? Somebody says something and she said, yeah, um, if you can't say something, not the Prophet Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, if you don't say something nice, don't say nothing at all. And I got back upstairs, another dude who became a rat. I wound up going to him like, yo, go ahead and say something to her for me. And he was like, you know, that's, that's the rat boy highs, folks, man. And, but he wasn't a rat. We didn't know. So I'm like, damn, yeah, she's tight, man. All right, I ain't, you know, go ahead. So one day with him, they say he a rat. So we're on a block, sitting around, relaxing. They're like, man, the boy, you, you know what? Boy, come to my cell, man. Listen, the boy highs, he a rat. I don't want no problems. He said, I'm just coming to you to let you know. I know what you like and what you don't like. You know, that boy's a rat. I'm letting you know the whole time you was around him, he was a rat. I'm like, get out of here. Two minutes later, here he come back on the block. With, talking about he missed the plane. So my thing was, hey, come here. Tell me what you just told me. Tell him what you just told me. And he was like, yeah, man, you told blah, 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 blah. And it killed me. It killed me because he looked me in my face and said, man, dudes just be hating sometimes. And he put his head down and walked out. So what I done was I, you know, I caught back up with him. He wasn't, you know, doing like he was scared of anything. His thing was more or less he wasn't arguing and it was bothering me. Like, what the hell? What's wrong? And when he done it, I saw it. I went to him. I told him, listen, man, you know, salams and that's it, man. I don't see nothing else to me. You know, I had a lot of dudes that I, that I was like that with down there. Um, New York always say, King Garner's only snatch people from New York on it. Man, I got about over 20 Philadelphians I didn't snatched. 20 of them. And you know what I get from that? I get nothing, man. They don't see it. You know, they miss it, so you know. Hold on, let me get at you a little bit. Yeah, come on, let's go, baby. <laughs> First of all, what, what we're not going to do is, <laughs> is bypass your, your, your wife. You know, she did She did 10 years. Are you able to, to, to tell, to talk with she? Be comfortable with you telling, you know, or you want to yeah. wait till her book come out? Because it's no, no pro, you know. Pro, you're you're comfortable with that? Yeah. Yeah, what, what, yeah. So what did she do 10 years for? Um, She done 10 years for uh, robbery. And what were the charges left? Armed bank robbery. Hold up. <laughs> you? Don't judge what? a book by a cover, bro. Do not <laughs> judge a book by a cover. That, that, joke, yeah, that, that serious? The series is a heart attack. Armed um, bank robbery? I would have yeah. never thought. You don't think, but I know in the house. I know. Really? <laughs> yes. This is why you with her, huh? You know what? I'm going to tell you why I'm with her. Um, oh, I've been like the, uh, I've been like the, and I had said something to her. She had nominated. She got a, um, a show called Lockdown Love. Okay. And she nominated. When she nominated me for the joint, it was like, damn, I want to go. But I don't, I don't socialize. The reason why I don't socialize with people in the city or be around people in the city, the only reason is because of how they, it's going to be a problem. And it's like, man, don't send me to jail. I ain't with it. Mm -hmm. So when she nominated me, she was like, you coming or whatever. I'm like, yeah, I'm coming. And I'm like, damn, I kind of like her a little bit. But, you know, I had some things I had going on. But um, when I was, when my mom passed away, we was talking a lot. We was already kicking it. And um, I wound up, uh, like, damn, Karen, you know, I, what's going on? I got an overload. I need some help here. <laughs> and she wound up reaching out to some people that she knew already overseas that got the gold. They got the gold gold. Mm. And it, like, just came together like Voltron. But I'm not going to lie to you. That kitten, that rat, Hassan, he done what he done. He, he kind of made me the guy I said that was a rat that she was messing with. Right. Yeah, so she, yes. He kind of hurt my feelings that bad anyway. I was going to, she was going to be mine. So wait, let me ask you, what, what year did this robbery happen? 
Okay. 2004, 2005. Did you hear about the story? Was it on the news? Did you hear about it? No, and throughout the jail, yeah. <laughs> it was. Can you talk about it? Yeah, it, listen to me. It was aggressive. Oh, it was aggressive. Um, <laughs> set it off. Crazy. What happened, bro? Set it off. See, what? I never really. This is what I got. Oh, Baby, man. how did it go? Get, tone, tone me in. Let's see if you want to, if you can sit over Come here. Come on, sit over here, here love. And, you can... and give it to him. Yeah, please. Hey, you allow her to sit there real yeah, quick? Of course. You know what I mean? I'm going to get to you. you, you, you got, I got something for you, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Mr. 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 You don't want to smile. Man. Get out of here, man. <laughs> <laughs> you get me tight. <laughs> you don't want to smile. <laughs> yeah, you going to sit over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right Thank you, brother. That's my man right here. Okay. Mm. okay, so can you introduce yourself? Yeah, he got it. We fix it. Bye. Just make sure, I guess, you can check. Yeah. Oh, closer. Yeah, pull the mic in closer. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Okay. You allow to introduce yourself, please. Oh, uh, I'm Sadia. Side money bags. Side money bags. Okay, Sadia. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. <laughs> pull the mic, mic a little closer. Like that type of closer. Because you want to relax. I know it's a little chilly here. Yeah, it's freezing. Yeah. So, and you know, is it okay we call you Miss Erna? Is that? Queen Queen Erna, we prefer. Queen oh, okay. Oh, see, you gotta be careful when people have these. When people Queen have these Erna. Life. That's what I'm saying. You gotta be careful. With their wife, too. You, yeah, know what saying? Wife, you, don't, you don't mess around with the wife. You gotta wife. be careful. We got the other sure. rules, so you gotta be careful. You know what I mean? So, can you tell us, can you bring us back to the. Well, welcome to Flip the Script. Can you bring us back to that day and tell us the story, what happened, please? I'm very interested in this story. Mm. Well, there's multiple robberies. There wasn't just one, so I don't <laughs> really know. Uh, which one to go with but um i used to case small banks and check cashing places and pretty much just go in take the money armed absolutely and um what made you get into that lifestyle um the kitten, tell the truth, the kitten. I can't really blame him because prior to him, I still was already doing my thing. Even though I'm from North Philly, um, it's like two different settings. So I'm from 19th and Jefferson, and around there is like they don't really want to um, – they want to give you handouts. They don't really want to teach you the game. Mm -hmm. They don't really want you doing what they're doing. But I started uh, being out Wilson in South Philly, and it's different down there. They they give you the game. They give you whatever you want. So guns, drugs, whatever you need to start if that's what you want to do. So being down there, that's where I got um, my traits. That's what I'll say. Uh, and I started doing small robberies and stuff down there with different people and things of that nature. And then when I met Hassan, I was already doing different things. And I had got... I did boosting and stuff like that before, and I had got locked up with a friend for something I didn't do. And because I got caught up with them, he was like, um, I would rather you be with me doing this than with them. So he brought me on board with him, and we just started taking stuff down. What made you get into that? Like, you know, like he actually, what made you, did you, were you struggling at home with the family, or were you trying to, like, you know, like what, what made you get into that lifestyle? Um, No stability at home. Mm. Yeah, no stability at home. My mom and my um stepfather who raised me had um separated and the house pretty much fell apart. My father had already went to prison and um there was really no foundation. Mm -hmm. Um so he calls him a kitten. I don't know the guy I saw. You call him a yeah. kitten, right? Because, kitten, man. Because he told a kitten, yeah. And, and 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 he admitted that he told, yes? Uh he he has a, a struggle with it, but for the most part <laughs> Um, so no, wait, hold on. This yeah. is not an assumption. He actually, there's actually documentary documents that state this man told on somebody. Yes. Yeah, but so he got it's all, it's all on paper, ain't it? Mm -hmm. What's this joint? Hassan, what is it? United Sturgis versus Hassan the kitten. What's this joint? <laughs> <laughs> so what did he, okay? Who did he before we get to? Because who did he wow. tell on? Ask her. <laughs> he told on you. No, he ain't telling me. Who did he tell on? I, there's a multiple. There's multiple people. I mean, I'm not about to sit here and tell you all the names. I don't, no, I don't tell the names, but he told on some people that he did, that was 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 that he did the crimes with, or as far as like, mm -hmm. were they hustlers or were they in the same field that you guys were in, which was the the the, the small. Those fields. Uh, 
All of the above. All of the above. Okay, so he was just an all out tattleteller. Yes. <laughs> oh, I, you know, all right, he was so. a tattleteller before she met him, and she didn't know. Mm-hmm. It crushed her when she found out. Oh, I miss him. I can't. Yeah, he's a risk. <laughs> and it's like, oh, the kid and the rat destroyed her. <laughs> so, 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 wait, wait, wait. So, so you were doing these small bank robberies, yeah. right? How much banks you hit? About what? Five, six? Mm. Nine. <laughs> What's up with y'all, man? <laughs> Nine bank robberies. I right? can't lie to you. Let me tell y'all the truth. I tell her all the time. You know, I've I've tried robbery as a kid before, mm. and I'm not going in your bank, and I'm not going in your check cashing place. I will pass out in there. Mm. I don't know it's something about the adrenaline in it to it that'll probably make me pass out. You know, I'm gonna be paranoid. I might shoot someone by mistake or harm myself too. Mm. You never know. I might pow pow. Da, da, da. You never know how it might go <laughs> with this. That's not my twist. But um, from what I heard, she really downplaying it. They was really going in and she was really I know I see acting playing it. crazy like you know what I'm saying like they was really getting getting to it and um I from what I heard she I I can't even compare the movie chick to her what's her name Latifah cool, when they Latifah. set it off she was like that they say she can't even and but wasn't boyish but like I had the girlish but I'm going in here and they better give it up so mm. can I ask you a question how, how did you guys get caught what was what, what made you guys get caught for the the last time? Correct. The reality is, he brought um he brought somebody in that I told him he shouldn't have brought in, and they did a job that I suggested that he should. Well, he did a job that I suggested that he shouldn't do, but because I was a female, he felt like mm, you don't know more than me. But mm. I was like, ah, I've been doing it longer than you. I know for a fact the same thing. Mm. And he got caught in the midst of the act, um, and he told on. Every situation he ever knew about. Wow. Mm. So he told on you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Booked her in. The kitten died. Nah, I find the, the other person. The other person. That he bought in. The other yeah. person told on you. Tell me she person. admitted she won't say it, but this is what this guy would do. Like when they, he would try to have a have profit hearings and sit in front of her and try to get her to cooperate with the people. What's a profit hearing? Like a profit hearing is where you go and you, they try to make a, agreement of a deal. what you going what you going to tell on not the deal oh, okay. but what you going to do and then we'll figure out what we're going to tell and they <laughs> will force her tell. over there and she had to sit there and she'd be like I ain't saying nothing I don't know who you talking about and he would be like come on you tripping they want you you're not acting right like you know I'm a kitten <laughs> but 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 hold on <laughs> you may be a little biased cuz you wanted his lady at the time right? no his lady come she on she told me this was she gave me but that part i don't know about what happened you're in the room you come a little biased though you come a little biased at the, I, 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 you know it's you, a rat you can't be biased against a rat it's going to happen you can't be biased against a rat if you no, can no but you know why because everything they done has no they don't have no they don't have a, a beginning of a touch of acknowledgement of they exist anymore it's like that don't matter so hold on, Queen Erna. When he when when that happened, right? Did you when you found out that Hassan was a tattleteller, right? You know, did you look at him different? Did it ch- or did you change your perspective on him, or did you still were you still cool with him? No, he broke everything in me. That was it. I can't respect that. Sure. Now be tell the truth. Yeah. This well, is the it. honor we have. Okay, I'm That's why I'm so in love with this the thing, honor. See, it's like, my thing is, Ooh, th- like, no, because mm. I gotta. She's up. You she know. Up. <laughs> 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 she was up for real. They have really taken this honor stuff serious. Uh, oh man, you no, forget about it. That. Like, I was <laughs> bred serious, with these. Huh? I was bred with these principles before I ever met him, came across him, or anything. Like, this is from my parents. Okay, yeah. This okay. is this is how I was born, how I was raised. This is what what I'm cultivated with. Mm. So, I didn't not tell on him because oh, I'm just so in love. I'm dick dizzy like no, this mm. ain't that. Like I I did the crime. I'm gonna stand on my ten. That's it. Mm. That's real. Ooh. That's the bottom line. And I felt like I had a 3-year-old at the time. If I could do it, anybody should. Mm. If you out here, you a man and you doing these things, you supposed to be able to stand on it. Mm. That's it and that's all. Um, what, 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 were your were your family in any like were your father was he in the streets? My father was, my mother wasn't. But what you know, my mom said on that first visit, she said, "What's going on?" I said, "I did everything they said I did." 
She said, so what's, what they talking about? I said, they want me to tell on her sign. And she said, that's not an option. So what they, what's the time? Mm. Bottom line. And she not a street chick. So if she understood that, who was I not to? And I'm out here running these streets and doing everything they said I did and more. What did it offer you? Did you take it to trial or you copped out? Ten. They offered you ten. Mm-hmm. And you took it. Let me get all it before they find out other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so hold on. Let's go. So yeah, yeah. Oh, let me get the, you know. I, I sense love in the air. Right. Love, oh man. Oh man. This is Barry White going Oh away. man. So 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 because your mother passed away recently, yes. Right. Mm. So my condolences. Mm. And you already knew her from before, or you didn't know? Yeah, we. I knew her from before. Like well, I'm from the lockdown love. She didn't remember me. I remember her. Okay. So. What, but what happened is she has a sister and they look like each other so i was like i saw the sister i was like yo she used to be in a picture room do you know her and she was like yeah i was like actually she remember me she was like no she does not <laughs> and i was like okay uh you know i was trying to figure out over conversation it's like uh but she was already conversing with me like you know telling me to do the right thing do positive stuff and i was like uh yeah i'm gonna do the right thing you know and she's like no serious you need to what religion are you guys involved in? Muslim. Muslim. Islam. 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 And you've been Muslim. Mm-hmm. You've been Muslim. From parents that moved past that. You got it. You she was Muslim before I was. I I took my shot in two thousand and three. Anybody knew me and they'll they'll say it if they if the real ones come forth and say that I was a Christian up until um two thousand and three. So you was a Christian and then you went to prison and No, what happened was um, I always said I would never be Muslim in prison, right? Mm-hmm. And I caught a contempt of court where I got cussed the judge out for a friend of mine. And um, I wound up taking my shahada, alhamdulillah, when I went through. And it was like a different, small, little, you know, low custody prison. Mm-hmm. And I kept saying in the name of Jesus, you know, when I was in front of the judge, like he was banging me, like, no, you messed up the jury, you tampered. And I'm like, Phew. In the name of Jesus, in my heart, it wasn't feeling right. It was like, yo, you need to stop saying that. Maybe you need to switch up how you carry it in the name of God and not Jesus. And I kept saying, man, in the name of Jesus. And I got back and I would just smoke on my block. I walked to him. I said, man, funny thing, man. I went to court. I didn't feel right. They called church. I said, I'm grabbing my Bible. Grab my Bible. I went down to church. And um, they start crying for respect for whatever goes on with the LGBT, whatever they got going on. I, um, it just turned me off from being in a part of the religion. And what I done was, I went back to the block, I cried, and, and, and a smoker name was Fahim, he said to me, man, you, you, you probably still a Christian. I said, no, I know. I believe in God, I don't believe in it. Just give me some time. But I wound up taking my shot, and I've been Muslim every since. I have a question to ask you both. Mm. Um, now, do you guys? I don't understand. I don't know the the difference between the you know. You guys are Muslim, right? Mm. So, do you follow the Honorable Elijah Muhammad? Um, is it that like that in Philly? Do you no. follow that, or is it something completely different? That's number one. Okay. And, and, and you know, is it Louis Farrakhan, I don't, Elijah Muhammad, or Malcolm X? Like, I need to know. I need well, to break that down. Well, okay, I got but from you. From what I know, but let me let me just let me because because I don't want to interrupt. I want you guys to talk straight through. Right. From what I know, Malcolm X is following the honorable Elijah Muhammad. Yes. Yes. He followed the honorable Elijah Muhammad was doing something that. In his opinion, that have may not been honorable. Yes, right. Yes. Then he separated. Correct. Then when he separated, he did whatever he did. They knocked him off. Exactly. In peace to who he is, but people still follow the honorable Elijah Muhammad well, and Louis. CIA Fett. knocked him off. Correct. Did who? CIA knocked him off. Oh, hold up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hold up. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. C- Slow C- down. C- yeah. All right. Go ahead. What was that? Was that facts? You guys got to tell me how. It's beyond facts. You guys got to tell me. But why do people say the CIA? Because the CIA hired. So so we're not gonna we're not gonna say it was the our brothers that knocked them off. No, we're not gonna say that the guys that shot them in there, they're not at fault. The guys that admittedly well, killed them and from, came home. For one, up from my understanding, they didn't have nothing in their guns. It was coming from up the top of the cellars. It never was. Boom, boom, boom. They was they was dummies. 
It was one of them that I think going to the gun. He, I make, I forgot his name, but there was one of them. He, not, he just not came home not too long ago. Yes. And his gun had bullets. Okay, his gun had bullets. He knew what he was doing. He had intentions for whatever they had going on. Mm -hmm. But it was really that up there that killed him. Up there, and the, the, they came at the angle. They at, came in. That, that, that they that said. killed Mal Now Malcolm X run over through Mecca over the, off of Hodge, and he saw there was all kind of religions. You got to realize with Hodge, every sect of Islam is there. Mm -hmm. Now, let's get an understanding that FOI, Fruit of Islam, is not Islam. Okay, so FOI is, who is FOI? Fruit of Islam, um, that's um, Farrakhan and um, Farrakhan, um, Elijah Muhammad, okay. Nation of Islam, Brother Ben X is one of so the So they peoples. got the FOI? Yeah, you know. Okay. They got the... They, they have the, the, the understanding of the religion, but the religion is that there is one God and one God only, and that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is his messenger. Mm -hmm. You see? Nothing else, we don't add, we don't subtract to that. What mm -hmm. ends up happening is you got a guy who said that he was God. We're understanding that there's only one God, a human can't be God. Now we understand that there are such things as little gods. Mm -hmm. We understand that there are idols and things of that nature. They speak about how they praise these things at a time. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, for a man to assume that he is one with a, 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 a spirit feeling of God is false because if that's the case, let me see you create the moon. Let me see you create the sun. Let me see you create the heaven and earth and everything within it. If you can't do that, you can't, pro you know, project God. But what happened was Farrakhan and them at one time, they went over and they to Saudi Arabia and they made some, some, some gestures with cash, whereas though they are accepting in certain with certain things. But if you hear what Farrakhan says, because I don't want to, um, how can I say this? We understand everybody was negative at a time in life. Every human being mm -hmm. had some wrong with them that they done. Well, majority of us, mm -hmm. and. I believe that from what I listen to Farrakhan, I believe that he's an individual that is so knowledgeable that he he's is. came up with the understanding that he is God. And you have people out here that has that knowledge, it's that he keeps his knowledge with a different kind of sharpness that nobody can mess with. When you have other individuals that go that far and say that they really um, into uh, themselves being God or spirituality, they'll kill themselves. They are hurt of us. This is what they do. You, it, it, it's, it's repeatedly in, in their behavior. You know what I'm saying? That they go too far in their education. But Farrakhan is is, is what you would call a fruit of Islam, and any any real um, fruit of Islam or or follower of Farrakhan will kind of say I, that's the truth. We're not spooky, as they say. We don't believe in what you believe in. And that's cool too. They have their beliefs. We have our beliefs. But Islam that we follow, we follow a law and a law alone and his prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We don't add to it, we don't subtract to it, we don't give nicknames, we follow exactly Quran and Sunnah according to the Salafi Dawah. So where but who okay, so so guys don't follow with disrespect to uh right. Minister Farrakhan and them. You guys are not that's, it's a different branch. Their branch, would they be? They're their own branch. They're their own branch, but right. Who, the guy, the people that you follow, well, you follow God. I follow the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam of fourteen hundred years ago of Arabia. Mm -hmm. Is there anybody that's like a minister Farrakhan, but in your, in um, your, um, t in your? Yeah, Sheikh Ben Baz over in Saudi Arabia. What's his name? Sheikh Ben Baz. He's a blind sheikh. Sheikh Ben Baz. Yeah, we only allowed to follow sheikhs. We're not allowed to follow anything else. Like our imams in our community, we must abide by what they say. But the sheikhs are the ones. After the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had, he had colleagues, caliphs. Mm -hmm. And then after the caliphs, he had those in standing place that are imam and things of this nature. But they're sheikhs. They say if we follow anything, 
we will follow the Sheikh. If a Sheikh make a decision right now for every Muslim in the world to do something that has to do with Islam, you're supposed to follow it. And he was though he's the one that give you understanding of um, the fast is coming. You know what I mean? Or um, they be, they call different rulings. It's called thick oh. issues. You know what I mean? Fatawas. You know what I'm saying? And if, like, say, for instance, my pants are like this, right? And it's above my ankle right here, but it's really not above my ankle. I'm really out of order for this. Because at the end of the day, your pants should be above your ankle. Oh, it is. Why? Why? Because out of the hellfire. Because the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that one with pride, one who wears their pants in pride, like Abu Bakr, for instance, for example, he had his um, his Izar. And the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was telling someone like, yo, you have to wear your, your Izar above your ankles. And Abu Bakr, his Izar always falls down from his waist side. So the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he asked him, Abu Bakr was his best friend, he asked Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, hey, you know, um, mine's always falling down. He said, it, it's those who do it with pride. You know, this is pride. Mm. The reason why I say this is pride because at the end of the day, it's just being cool. You dig what I'm saying? Mm. That's pride to a certain extent, but it ain't my intention to be negative to my religion, but the religion is perfect. I ain't. Just mm. the truth, you know what I'm saying? Wow. But if I but if I keep it a hundred with you, this is incorrect. Let me ask a question. So do you guys um when it comes to Malcolm X, do you guys respect Malcolm X? Love him to death. Or do you guys, so you guys don't see him as being disrespectful to Elijah Muhammad? You guys don't see it like I that? I honestly don't think that he ever disrespected him. He, I think that he came to the point where though there was some things said that he didn't agree with, right? And um, people took it as disrespect, and they were so aggressive about it. Like, oh, you disrespected him? Because they look at him as a prophet. I'm going to ask you a tough question. Mm-hmm. Because you say you loved him. Yeah, I love him. So, death. love him still. Do you consider Malcolm X, and this is with all due respect, is he a rat? Did he tell? Probably is it, dead. Is it, oh, oh. Probably he's a rat. Mm. I, I mean, the reason why I say that is because so he mentioned about him being murdered. What I'm going to do, be fake here? He mentioned about him being murdered several times. What do you mean? He spoke up on him being in murder like that they were going to do something to him you can pull it up on your youtube okay so that's the that, so, hold on he said yeah. he felt it was going to happen i don't care i don't care he was in the streets why you feel that why you have to express that verbally out loud that's not okay why is it not okay because i mean i mean you're letting it, if you were it, it would be okay if malcolm was a guy who never touched the streets if he was never malcolm little i would say okay well that's what he done but if I get up here and people are trying to kill me, and I say, Farrakhan and everything about them, they're trying to kill me. I didn't dishonor who I am as those who keep those principles and our rules and what we live by. And, but of those who became negative, like you see I straightened my life up. Mm -hmm. Something could riddle me. But That's that. Is, that. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. that. It, it is what it is. You cannot become something that you say you weren't. You see where I'm coming from? I see what you're saying. It, it, it's no way around that. So by him stating that they will kill him, he's basically bringing attention to their, you know, and going against the principal code. You know, but some people grow. You know that, right? He probably grow, and, but you feel like he should have grew his behind off. He grew into a rat. What, what? <laughs> I'm just being truthful. I love him. I told you I Yo, love him. That's crazy, bro. He's a rat. I love him. That's what that is. Come on, man. You but, hey, but what I'm supposed to do here? Y'all wow, told me we keep it a buck. Hey, listen, I love Mount. That's my guy. But you asked me to be truthful. I would I be actually be true, but I didn't yeah, be truthful like that. Yeah, because I'd be faking. Like, he didn't tell nobody. Like, he didn't call the CIA. He didn't call police on nobody. He might as well have done it. He might as well have got born and say, yo, they're going to murder me. They're going to stand over top but of me. But nobody would. Oh, yeah. But they, the, the people that killed, the, uh, accused, like you said, accused, they got caught dead in there. It's not like, you know. But I see what you're saying. I see. It like you've been before he got it, before he came. Like we we Muslim, right? First of all, you fear law. So for those who are straight up and down Muslims that don't in, involve themselves in the streets, guess what? They can't even call the police 
and what we live in Islam, that's not their thing. Their thing is to stay away from that, and they got protection of the community. Oh. You have protection. So it's a rule in, 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 in Muslim. You don't go, we can't, I mean, we follow, the, we, we're supposed to, even though we're in this land, it's a law, a law called the Hudu. You don't go ahead and you say, hey, your officer here, they're messing with me because you got King Erna and a million other Muslims that are supposed to stand for that. You know what I'm saying? Are you sure this is a rule? And it's a rule. Sure? You you like, send anybody to jail. Who that, Malk? Malcolm X. You don't got to be sending nobody to jail. That would be a rat, though. You know, I can hmm. go to police district. You can do something right in here, and I said I've seen it, and go to a police district right now and become a rat by just saying what I've seen to you. When you. Let me ask you a question, but this is a rule, and you said Muslim, you ain't supposed to, is that a really a rule? Or is well, let me, let, let, me, let me clear it up a little effect. bit here. Let me clear this up here. Um, in Islam, um, I'm not going to say that those that live here in America, that Muslim, that never done no crime, you know, they do this and it's excusable, and we understand it, and we don't call them out of their names, call them rats, because they're not a part of what we are a part of. But in Islam, there are two, it's a law called the Hudu law. So honestly, we should have in our neighborhoods protection where the Muslims protect one another. You know, we're more or less killing one another, period, out here. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So it's a little far off to 1,400 years ago when this is what was going on. We understand it don't happen, but, you know, I'm not going to book her as a Muslim or um, book him as a Muslim man and say, like, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it don't have no honor to it. It's like, what are you doing, man? You could have went to the imam. Mm. You got the imam right there. What are you doing? He's the one in our neighborhood. I'm gonna give you a person in your in your city, Siraj Wahaj. We should look at these people's names. Siraj, S I R A G, Wahaj, W A J. He wound up taking Bia a pledge with Farrakhan, but you know he came from underneath a Dr. York. Made it better. Like he might have got bigger than Dr. York, but um. How you spell his name? I'm sorry. Siraj, S I R A J, W A, H A J. Got you. H H A J. H H A J. Okay. Get it correct. Get it correct. Excuse me. Okay. Got you. Okay. What about what about Mr. Siraj? In his community, like the Muslims come to the Muslims, like you know what I'm saying, like you don't go. They just had it the way they had it together. It was structured. You come to the Muslim. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. You don't go to um, what I would call. How can I say that? You don't go to. Uh, to a non-Muslim and, and lock up another non-Muslim, you know what I'm saying? Got you. It's just not something that happens, not supposed to do that. It's like totally dishonorable, like, you know what I mean? You could just figure out imam and the imam can hold some type of, like, oh, okay, let's, let's put it this way. Over there, if you kill someone, right, what they do, they give you the opportunity of, of, of uh, taking one of their family members Blood in, blood out type thing. Like, okay, well, are you kill mine? I can kill yours. Really? Hmm. Yeah, that's what goes on. Like, you're there able wow. to do it. Then you got some Muslims that are saying, lad, this is the law. This, under the, this is, I call it, it's the Sharia under the Hudu law. This is all proof you can look it up. Looking good, yeah. You know what I mean? The Hudu law, you know what I mean? You, this is the laws of the land you follow. This is what you, you live by. Um, you know, this is just how it is. We gonna switch guests one time, man. You know what I'm saying? Let, let, let's uh, yeah, we, 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 we can switch up if you wanna go. You wanna go back? You can. I know you. Uh, shout out to she to queen. Shout out to Queen yeah. Erna. Yeah. <laughs> the woman in her. Yeah. The <laughs> robber has left. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The yeah. robber has left. The robber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, I'm gonna oh, tell you a story about her. Oh, the robber has left. Oh my God. This yeah. good, beautiful woman here. Wonderful. Like I said, we gonna switch guests one time. Let's let's talk about how you met um, Ar Ab. Okay. That's an easy, good one too. Um, there was a, um, a, a a brother by the name of uh, Moo, and um, Moo had a um, studio called QSC. I was doing little things on the side, like uh, you know, I was going positive, but mm -hmm. it was like, yo, come on, man, we're hearing some things. Is he gonna mess up? What is he gonna do? So Moo was like, you know what, man, I want you to run me on promotion. I had, um, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a Facebook um, group called, you know you're a Muslim when? Mm. I don't know who they probably say, who like online, who they say started it. Mm. But I was the one that started it. But you know, if you don't put no moderator behind it or whatever, somebody will take over it. 
but it had went like viral. And he was like, man, you would be good promoting, man. You be doing good on Facebook. Hmm. And I was like, ah, he had a couple of rap, rap artists. I was like, ah, I come through promotion. So he wound up going away. And um, when he went away, a lot of things wasn't put in place like it was supposed to. We supposed to have some things that was supposed to be in place for us to continue to pay the bills and things of this nature. nature. Um, I was putting a lot of money out. I was married. Um, it was a thing where as though the burden came on me mm. and I didn't have nothing set up in line for my people, my family. So it was like I had to do what was best for me. You know what I'm saying? And um, I had a, a real serious accident happen where as though I messed my leg up. So it was like, I put somebody else in position, brother, was a Grammy Award winner. And um, this this Grammy Award winner was basically, um, his name was Brent, he was doing like mix and mastering. He was real good or whatever, you know what I mean? So when he won and he took over, and you know, Moo got kind of mad at me like, yo, you the one that done this, or you the one that done that. So I'd like to sit down, man, cause they, we were moving around too much. But um, he said, um, I'm going to let you go ahead with the business or whatever. And we know we were still cool. I got a call one day. My brother go home and say to me, man, um, I need to talk to you real quick. We, I slide up on him. He say, I don't talk about nobody behind their back. Friends, brothers, or nothing. Brother just called. He wanted, I guess he has a few things. And I got on the phone. I'm like, God damn, I heard some few things you say about me. We wind up, it wind up going where it went to and um, it stayed there. I think it was more of a thing, me and me and Ab got close where it was based off of genuineness and we were Muslim and we had prayed together. I had attended his um, his um, father's, I mean his mother's funeral, you know what I mean, front row, alhamdulillah. And it was like, we just took off, you know, sometimes friends become friends with other friends mm -hmm. and it become a situation where as though those friends are kind of like looking like, I, I don't know what it was, but Ab would do features with my artists that I had like this. And it was like the videos and the different things was like beautiful with us. I didn't have to come with no money. I didn't have to come with no game. I didn't have to come none of that. It was all love. Mm. And Ab would have me in his videos. And my PO, my federal PO was like, yo, we just seen you in AR Ab's, um, 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 I don't know if it was his brothers or whoever it was, but you were in there with a knife like you were doing something, you know? <laughs> well, let me be truthful. My ex, boy, her boyfriend, and another rat, they were emailing my PO videos that I was in with Ab, and they were trying to say I was dark low in some videos and other people, and it was like weird because my PO was cool with it. He was like, man, I ain't got nothing to do with it, but when the supervisor found out it was like, call him in here. Hmm. And when I came in, they set me down and they said, yo, it's Max, Max out TV, John. Um, Mood, I, um, what was that, John? Got weed, got perks. Now make it work, make it work. Goonie, Goonie Gang B, free moolahs, free abbing them. But I'm in there with a knife like that. And she said, yo, you can't be in the videos anymore. I say, all right, <laughs> fat boy, like, yo. Where you at? Need you for this video. I want you to come in, man. Let's have a ball. He knew I liked it, and he knew that it was, you know, it, it reminded me of what I lived, but we wasn't doing nothing negative. Right. I was having fun. So it was like, man, I'm like an actor here. It's not like I'm, Basically, I'm yeah. going to act. Let's act. And Ab say, go ahead, it's Go to act. We're acting out then. Mm -hmm. And I had fun doing it in my PO. And I was like, again, they called me back again. After the dudes finally sent in the joints, I was like, yo, uh, guess what? Can't do it no more. And this time when I came in there with like a thousand people in there, I'm looking at them like, God oh, damn. They typing and, oh, yeah, uh, you, you, what do you know any of these individuals? No. <laughs> do you, no, they want me to, you know, say that you know them from jail so they can lock you up because that's the only way they can get you on a felon felony thing. Mm -hmm. Being around a felon is if you know them from jail. If I don't know them from jail, how the hell are you going to lock me up for it? Mm -hmm. And um, they let me go. I wound up getting off for the federal parole. So then it was really on like, hey, come on, let's go, let's go. We're going show to show. And Ab wound up getting some time. And when he got the time, 
is when everybody was like promoting, like before then we was promoting um, Who Hearted Me Too, all them different joints, man. And everybody kept telling me about him. Mm. Oh man, when his brother Leek come home, man, y'all, y'all similar. Y'all, oh man, y'all gonna fit good. And it was like, we would see each other and it'd be like, hey, hey, you know, what's going on? Yeah, all right, yeah, all right hey, what's going on? And after a while, it was like, we started getting tight. Like, he got his music. I didn't know he could rap. And it was like, I heard his music. And I was like, damn, hmm. this boy is like the modern day beyond. He say every time I say that, like, nah, his. He's like, crazy. he's the modern <laughs> day kiss. We were just coming here. He's better than them. Oh. I mean, and I ain't saying nothing negative, but I have my opinion. I feel like this, this is just something. If you went to his page a few, a while ago, I just was promote, 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 because at the end of the day, I'm telling the truth. So, your name is? is Leek, Leek Moss. Leek Moss, look at the mic, Leek. Come on, you don't gotta do this mic thing. Pull it closer, yeah. Yeah, you gotta you get it. You get Yeah, Leek Moss. Yeah, Leek Moss, all right. Yeah. So you AI brother? Yeah. Blood brother? Yeah, same mom, same dad. Oh, okay, okay. Um, you was, when his career took, like, how was it growing up? Like, were y'all close? Like, were y'all, you know? No, we really missed each, like, from, I'm going to say, 2000. And, I went to jail 2002. Came home, to, he went to jail, like, 2001. I went to jail 2002. I came home December 2004. He went to jail January. No, December 2003. He went to jail January 2004. I went to jail December 13th, 2004. He came home the 16th, hmm. 2004. I did nine years. When I come home from doing my nine years, he go to jail two weeks later and do 18 months. And this time, since he did the 18 months, it's the longest time we've been on the streets together. So, so when he had his run, I was in jail. What which I did time for. Excuse me? Which I did time for. Well, I did time for um, a drug violation, assault on a cop, and a couple, like, six September murders. Wait, hold up. <laughs> a couple, like, six September. Hold up. Hold up. Whoa. <laughs> hold up. Yo. Leak. I got some stories, yeah, I like man. That man that you bugging. <laughs> <laughs> Six attempts. So did you? Yeah, you well, I mean, are you able to talk about this? Did you get convicted, or are you not? This something that you? No, don't I got to convicted of one, but I was, you know, it was you no know, like I was on the news, so it was like. Are you able to talk about it, or something that you don't want to talk about? Yeah, I mean, this ain't nothing that nobody know already. I mean, yeah, it's uh, public record. I just want to make sure, man, because earlier, yeah, we're gonna get into what you said about the whole Cassidy and stuff. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, hold on, don't run, don't run, don't run. You don't like you bite your tongue. You don't like you bite your tongue. You don't hardly smile, so I, I, no. it, it doesn't give I'm you. I'm smiling now. You smiling now because I'm cracking jokes. But here you looking serious. I watch you from my peripheral. Right. Okay. Yeah. So okay, so what did you do? So you did nine years. So tell us, bring us to the journey. What led up to you doing the nine years? What What were you charged? What were you charged with? Did you take it to trial or you copped out? I took everything to trial you took everything to trial yeah so well the, except for the drug case the drug case a good friend of mine like a real close friend of mine told on me on a drug case but he had died before i went to trial so <laughs> i like bit it i like all right fuck it. I, they they offered me three to six running with my six to twelve so it was like yeah give it to me just so people won't find out that he told if i went to trial everybody would have knew that he told so you um what happened the day of like that you like what happened that day that you, you yeah don't, don't smile man i'm saying that's what i asked you if anything you want to talk about you see you can't give us the law version yeah but no, your version i mean i won't get into detail about you don't have to past. get into detail you can paraphrase it seem like yeah like glorifying it but i got shot i had got shot uh maybe two weeks before i caught that particular case and you know, i just was mad you know i got shot you got shot with you outside, or you got shot in the house, you got shot in the car? No, I was outside. I was outside. Somebody walked up on you and shot you? Some gangster shit, too. He shot me on some. Like Broad day. Yeah. I mean, I really had nothing to do with it, but it was a friend of mine, and he just was, like, tough, real tough. So he's a gangster. He shot me. Wait, hold on, hold on. I, I, I got lost. 
Not the friend of yours didn't shoot you. No, the friend of mine kind of like had my gun, and it was like he didn't like use it properly. I guess it was is his honor snatched for doing that? Hmm. Nah, I mean I kind of snatched it at first. It was like I I can't really expect nobody to really like beat me, but me. So oh, <laughs> yo, hold on, so, like, <laughs> so, no, so, so, so you you were standing outside where you had a store, like you know I got walking through because you you don't like to talk that much. We no, we was walking. We was walking, a guy just, was, they, they was had a situation, and I get involved because a guy that was involved had the same name as me. Oh, okay. So, and they, had, they he's going to, like, one of my folks' cribs. Understood. You know, buying uh, weed at the time. This was, like, 2002 or something. No, this was 2004, actually. This was 2004. So, when they say him leak to the girl, the girl thinking it's me and automatically call me and I get up there and I find out it's not me but the guy got a gun I take the gun and it just was a whole situation Hold up. so so they wasn't looking for you but you involved yourself in such a you wasn't yeah cuz I knew the for. guys and there was kids out there and he had like pulled a gun out. it was some nice shit and you took it from him yeah cuz I had to get you no know, it happened I took the gun <laughs> got you I guess that's how I involved myself got you know. but you didn't is that the day you got shot? The day you did that? No, the, it, it was like a whole bunch of nut shit going on. Got you. Then you. And it was like, yo, can you please go take care of this, man? Let me drive you. So that's why that happened. <laughs> <laughs> so then it's you like, get shot, and then yeah, then I get shot. How many days later until uh, I got out of the hospital? Like two weeks later, and I took me like a couple days, and I caught that case. Like three weeks after I got out of the hospital, I and, and, and six people were hit basically. Let's say no, it was just a bunch of shit. <laughs> they just kind of like closed the book. They had a homicide that I didn't do that they locked me up for. Mm -hmm. December 2004, they dropped it January 2005. Yeah, they was just charging me with shit that they that wasn't really sticking. Hmm. But what what stuck that you did in nine years? What stuck? Yeah, the only thing that stuck was this. The guy didn't even come to court. He was with his baby mom. And I'm gonna run y'all through it. Please I'm, do. I'm coming in the hood, right? The guy, this guy, I'm with the guy that was, you know, I come out the hospital, it's like, yo, come get me. He come get me, get in the hood. Some guy come up to my car. The guy that actually told on me on the drug case, he comes up to the car, say, yo, the dude is around the bar. I'm mad. It's like, he ain't dead. Like, how he around the bar? Nobody done nothing to him. I say, yo, take me around the bar. <laughs> And the guy that I'm with is like, no, my car, I can't go. He know my car. And it's like, all right, let me out. Now I'm walking, no exaggeration. I might, to walk one block, it's going to take me about seven minutes. That's how slow I'm walking. I walked about two and a half blocks. It took me about 15, 20 minutes, something like that. By the time I get around, there, the guy going. So I'm mad, cuts the whole bar out. I went to his house. He wasn't there. On the way back, I stopped at a store, and that happened. That's how it is, man. I went to jail. Somebody got hurt at the store. Yeah, somebody got hurt at the store. Did they live? Yeah, they lived. They lived. They, they I know. I understand. I couldn't run, so it was really like a backup, and then I just walked away. So when the person got hurt, did the person tell on you? Well, initially he told, but he didn't come to court. But his baby mom told and came to court, and, and they give you nine years. The nine years well, they gave me a six to twelve, but I just end up doing nine, nine out to six and to twelve. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. Hmm. And you was all over the news and everything, huh? Yeah, in two thousand and four, I was all over the news under Malik West, <laughs> Philly's most wanted. It probably say, or other, <laughs> when they did the original <laughs> Philly's most wanted yeah, list, I, I was on there. Yeah, mm -hmm. the first list that they put out actually. Yeah, I was on there. And so the baby moms, um, yeah, told. Yeah, I mean the guy told too. But you said that he really didn't tell. Like you said that he didn't. He come didn't to come court. to court, but so he, he made told a statement. initially. Yeah, he made a statement. So do so he made a mistake. <laughs> what you mean? So a statement. statement. Oh, statement. No, he made, no, he made a statement. No, he made a statement. So That's so do, they call it a uh, they call it a yeah they call it an abortion. Yeah. That they bitch was like abortion. Yeah, they call it an abortion. Yeah, come on, guys. Come on. That's what it's called. That's what does that mean? Like, stop that. You guys are ridiculous. What does yeah, that you mean? Had a, you had a second thought. You ain't really want to do it. What's so the abortion? You aborted that but, bitch. But when they don't come to court, 
right? You don't have any mm. witnesses. Don't th- doesn't that work in your favor? But that doesn't not negate. The the but you got me locked up. You got me locked up. You got without Teach your statement. It, please. Without your initial statement, they would have never came and looked for me to sit me in jail in the first place. And what was his statement? The you can carry that I shot. Mm. I'm looking for you right now. Hold on, hold on. Don't, don't worry. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I think it was like, when was it? When was that first joint? It was like, I told, well, I know the case happened in like August or January, August it happened. So September, October 2004. It was crazy because I, I heard myself on the radio. I woke up one morning and they was talking about me on the radio and I went, in, I didn't even do nothing. I'm like, what? what they had they went to this you? wrong house. They had went to this house on Gratz and Cumberland. And a cop had fell through the roof. They chased somebody they thought it was me. And a cop had fell from the roof to the basement. Hmm. Yeah, they got old one out, and I'm looking at it. Yeah, that's when it was like the, the murder rate was sky mm-hmm. high. I think we had the murder capital in 2005. So now, so now, let me ask you a question. So you get it, you get locked up, you come home. Mm-hmm. And when you come home, you before your brother, you know, before he's incarcerated now. How long y'all was out on the street together? From the nine years you talking about? Yeah, yeah no, like you said that. When did uh, AR when AR ever got like you came home? What year? I came home from the nine years. Yeah, thirteen. Thirteen, and you he got locked up two weeks later. For what? For the he had to go to court the next day. He got found guilty the next day. They gave him two weeks to turn himself in. Yeah. Okay, but then he came back home. Eight yeah, eighteen yeah, months later. Okay. 18 months later, then you guys were on the street together. Yeah. Now, let's discuss this real quick because right. <clears throat> from both of y'all, I want your opinions or facts. AR Ab situation confuses me because I told you earlier today that people say it's because of Vlad TV that he got incarcerated. I didn't watch it. I don't know the case. I did not read the story. Like I said, Young Pick talks highly about him. He always talks about AR Ab, so... And I know who AR Ab is. I know, we all know who he is. But what happened? Mayan rats. I mean, it had nothing to do with Vlad TV. I know Vlad, not in none of the paperwork. He, he <laughs> right. Yeah, oh, Vlad. Vlad. Vlad has nothing, no, to, Vlad do got nothing to do with their indictment. I mean, Vlad caused it. They, yeah, Vlad. it's a perspective, but that's not, that's not, not the truth. The truth. I mean, they're using some of his interviews and. Some of his rap, where they were trying to use some of the interviews and the raps and stuff like that, but that's all entertainment. That's all entertainment. Anybody who know Av know that when the camera cut on, he's oh my goodness, AI when the camera cut on. But what is he accused of? What is he in, what is he accused of? Okay, so what is he accused of then? Can you guys say what is he accused of? Um, I believe they accused him of running a criminal um organization. organization. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So he's accused of running a criminal organization. Now, um, but did the police do some sort of investigation? Or, you know, like, you know, what's the know status the full, right now with him? I don't know the full details. I know usually in them circumstances that they do it, you yeah. know, Is it investigation. Feds? Yeah, in the feds. So so what's the status yeah. on it? What, how are we, what, what are they talking about now? Well, just a way to go to trial. They ain't go to trial yet. Mm. So they just, you know. But well, we don't have a trial date yet, neither. Well, the trial date was November the fourth, right now. Okay. But they trying to get a uh, pushback. Ab and I'm trying to get a pushback. They to still ain't get it. You know, to to. to you know, yeah, they need a little bit more time to prepare, get their whole discovery. They don't, they ain't get their whole discovery, and they still got separations on them. How many people got incarcerated on that case? Um, about nine. It was about nine. Yeah. Nine. And then people say so. So you, in your opinion, and this is the first time I'm hearing that people that know him personally, you can't blame Vlad TV. No. Not for a rat's lie. I can't for people lying and making up whatever they're making up. Man, I look at, I, you know, how you asked the question. You said so. He's locked up for this. I think Ab is locked up for being a good person, and that's just not even on a friendship. He was tip. just asking the charges, like what the charges. You know what I mean, he had. no, I'm just saying, I, like the. I don't deeper. blame Vlad. I don't blame Vlad. Mm-mm. Because there's nobody like Vlad just asks questions. Vlad just gave more validity to content that was already. Yeah, we, it, the thing is, it's a entertainment versus reality thing. For some reason, whatever Ab say out his mouth, everybody believe is the truth, and you know, 
from rap. If if you know, a lot, I, I've seen play, a lot of people say you know stuff in their raps and in their interviews, and a lot of people don't get took as serious as Ab was. When Ab say something, it was just like he was profit. Like everybody yeah. believed. Ar Ab got shot. How many times? Thirteen all together. He said ten and then three. Ten and then three. Yeah. And what year was that? All oh, years I wasn't home. Um, when that joint came, I went. Um, had to be around. I can't remember time. Had to be around ten. Two thousand ten. Two thousand twelve. One of that area. Yeah, it was like eleven, twelve. Twelve, eleven, or twelve. Yeah. About two thousand twelve. Yeah, cause hey, I, hey, hey, he's a stand-up dude. Oh my goodness! Forget about. Him. Okay. Beyond honorable, you know what I mean? You know, we got a okay, thing yeah. where it's though the scales, right? The scales are broken when they come to him. So what's beyond honorable? The scales are broken. He he he's not the type of individual to, to fold under any type of pressure. You see what he's been through in his career. You know what I'm saying? He's been lied on. He's been cheated out of his spot. He's been a lot of things, but guess what? He's never ever you seen him, you know, you might see him do his little entertainment thing or whatever, but he don't throw his friends under his, under the bus. Um, I never seen him do nothing like that. I always seen him talk good about his friends. So early I was talking to you about Cassidy and Gilly. I said that um, yeah, Philly, that stick Philly together. sticks together, you know, no matter it's if there's an issue, they stick together. That's what I saw. That's they, they take pride into that. You know what I mean? When I went to Philly back in 2013 to try to bring Reed Dollars back into battle rap, you know, I sat there with NH and a lot of different guys I met, about 40, and I was there by myself. That was, that, you know, i never forget that, and that's what they, they told me about. You know, like, you know, us in Philly, we have no gangs and we stick together. Besides me having a situation back in the days when I drove out there by myself to meet a girl. <laughs> so they stick together. So when I saw Gilly standing on Cassidy's side on... You know, I said, wow, they stuck together. You know, he walked off the stage. But you said a comment that stuck out with, to me. And you said that, what do you expect? How yeah, far do you expect it to go? Yeah, what yes, you, you said? Yeah, they two great guys. They not, what did you think? They was going to shoot each other? That's not them. Wait, what does two great guys mean? I don't know. You, 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 you. <laughs> they good guy. I mean, Gilly himself, I, I, I like Gilly. I like good, good guy, great guy. You see what I'm saying? I'm saying that nobody, you ask anybody from Philly, like Cassidy and Gilly was on, they won't be surprised. They'll be like, all right. Nobody would expect like anything to happen. Like Gil, no, he going up on the stage with Cass. Like I ain't got to worry about Gil. Uh, Cass turn around, shoot me in the back of my head. Or Cass knows like Gil behind me. It's like, all right, best worst he gonna do is punch me. It's like if anything, like we go to. Hold up. Is it? It'd have been different. Like <laughs> if different. Like you know more. I'm just saying, man. Just name it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not their lifestyle. If they was known for anything, Google. then it'd have been different. But it's like, no. But he got a rap. He got a freestyle that he got. And all he was saying was the truth. And he was saying about, uh, I think it was Gilly in the Sand. He was, he was speaking about Erie Avenue and the positivity and the negativity and things. Don't make this a leap on Gilly. Thing. Right, I'm yeah, just... no. Nah. But you Gilly can see it as like a good it's not guy, negative, great guy. I'm not you know I mean? bad I'm just saying, though, but, but, you know, I'm just saying like he used to call himself, man. I like Gilly. He ain't know to be a shooter. Yeah. Not so even a shooter. No, but not a shooter. A shooter doesn't necessarily I'm not, mean not, That's down. not what I'm saying. I don't want you to get my job. No, we ain't get no, We trying to not. I ain't getting nothing confused. I'm trying to make you say what you mean. I mean what you say. I'm going to say he's not known to be a shooter, but it's like. He didn't give me nothing or anybody nothing for anybody to be scared of. You see, it was like a, he so when he called anything. himself the did he call himself the king of Philly one time or the prince? What he used to call himself? I call yeah. him the king of Philly too. Yeah, great. Like he took, see, single handedly. Like nobody could really go to like he pulls people. He don't got no problem with fucking with anybody. Nice. That's why I could give him that joke because so he's like that, really a great guy. He really like. He put me on. I first came home. He ain't no ad was my brother or nothing. I just he put me on the CD, marijuana high joint. He ain't know the fuck. I, he just a good, a genuine good guy. You know what I'm saying? And this is no sarcasm. It's like he's no. This ain't no sarcasm. He's genuine. What about good. Cassie? How you feel about him? I don't really know him. Kind of weird. I wouldn't. Yeah, you know where he be? Kind of weird. Then you, then you, you, you said, said, you said, said what? kitten. Kitten. 
Uh, hold on, hold on. First of all, we're we not aware of any kitten behavior. I don't know what that means. <laughs> no. I don't know what that means. Kitten. I, I thought kitten mean you tell. So now you you, you change the meaning. No, up. no, 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 no. Now let me get you to understand what a kitten is. Like pussy? No, a kitten. What does a kitten do all the time? Meow. All the time. It can't stop. I don't care what you do. Meow. Meow. They can't keep quiet. So, wait. Hmm. Slow down. Uh, Erna, please. Yeah. Stop your nonsense. Nah, today. I'm giving it to you. Let's talk about it. Bro. So, then Ab used to hold Cassidy down. Wasn't that something before? No? Yes? Am I, am I wrong? Because I don't remember. I don't know if it was a hold down situation. I don't really know the details of this, but they used to hang around each other. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up. Because you're talking a lot of cold, so let me slow you down. He was in jail, that's why he said he was in jail. No, 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 but it's, with him, it's always something underlined with it. <laughs> you don't know if it was a whole down, so was there some sort of ex... No, no, no. What you mean by hold down, like? Uh, he was in security? I don't know. Uh, uh, was he being paid by Cassidy, you feel? I don't think so. Oh, okay. That's okay. Because then that would lead to extortion. But I don't want to talk about that. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We never get extorted and yeah. I get his <laughs> life on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, why, that's, why, that's, why, that's, a, that's why I closed it down and then I opened it back up. Right. I said, no, no, no. I don't want to ask that. Because my man is. No, but. I'm they, a little seasoned. You can ask whatever you want to ask. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but they were cool. Were, were they cool at one point? Were you aware? Are you yeah. aware that they were cool? Mm -hmm. What happened? What was the fallout between Cassidy and. and, and and, and Gil, uh, not Gilly, uh, AR. Well, I gave him an interview and um, Ab just told her kind of like the truth. Like he went on tour with him and he didn't like the way Cassidy was treating him. You know, certain things that was happening, you know. Um, you can't tell certain certain people certain stuff. In all actuality, you just right. gotta deal, you really don't got enough money to really take care of all these grown men. Right. You see what I'm saying? And you selling these people the dreams. dreams. And they believe it. Certain people you just can't sell certain stuff to. I got you, when you come home, just come on the road with me, leave the streets alone, make you a millionaire, this, that, and the third. And time go by and it's like, hold on, bro. I don't like pop, like what's going on, man? You got, you just Okay, but then, but then we gotta play, I gotta play devil's advocate. What, he probably didn't have the money. He probably didn't, but you can't. That's, and that's what a lot of people get it wrong at. You know he what I mean? Probably he didn't. probably I, didn't have the money. Nine times out of his, 10, he didn't. Okay, so but are you we supposed selling, to hold him accountable? Nah, you just selling these wolves, these dreams of certain so people. Wolf, you, you, just, you consider that wolf tickets? No, he's selling the wolf, the dreams. You selling these, you selling these people, selling, selling these, dreams. telling this person that just is locked up for murders. Like when you come home, I got you. We'll make you a millionaire. This, that, and that. He's going on tour. He's watching you catching mm -hmm. all these checks. But you see, hold, you whoa, 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 slow like, down. You wasn't there to say that. I know that's my brother though. So you know, know we so, talk. Oh, to, to, salute, salute to your brother. And, and, and we I'm talk. Saying, but a lot of people get misconstrued. Now you know when somebody come home, especially the notoriety, or especially who it is, or if you wanna get somebody out of that situation. You, Your vision may be, yo, when you come home, I'm gonna hold you down, but things happen. No, I'm not saying. When you get saying. your paycheck, you cash your check, you gotta pay for other stuff, you gotta pay, for, you know, different things happen. So are we are, are we really to hold, no, you know? No, I mean, don't this, you hold this somebody? is the thing. Yeah. I never really like, I never bashed him for that. What I said was he probably didn't have the money, so but you telling, you telling Ab that, you see what I'm saying? You are not telling other people like me, like my perspective on cash is the same thing like with Meek Mills. Everybody, when I was in jail, I never heard nobody talk bad about it. Uh, Not one time. Till he got his money. Now when I come home, every, like it was a lot of, whole lot of hating going on. The, the situation was a little different with me because I just, I come home, Ab locked up. Ab can't confirm the fact that, you know, what's going on, I just hear shit. I hear like, damn, he did some hating shit here, he did some hating shit there. And I Who jumped. we talking about here? We talking about Meek now. I jumped mm -hmm. the gun. But my whole thing was, nobody could really expect, like, you don't know what this guy was doing. You see what I'm saying? The whole Philly expect for him to just lift everybody up. They expect as soon as Meek got his deal, to just come and just lift everybody up. You, come on, man, they with me, you. And when he couldn't do it fast enough, everybody started hating him. Right. I ain't gonna lie. But, 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 but what's that thought process? That, that thought process is not fair to the artist. It's not, it's not but it's not fair though. It's yeah, not but fair. people don't know. They only know what you're putting out there. Mm. You see what I'm saying? They looking like, oh, this boy's 
French rich. You see what I'm saying? But how was he just supposed to be rich and take everybody yeah. along? I thought, what the hell? I'm not saying that. It's, stop hold there. on. I like, and I like Philly, man. I'm but bashing. Stop hold on, there, man. Hold on. I'm bashing the people. I don't think you hear me right. No, I hear you. I'm, I'm with him. I'm with you. I'm with him. I'm saying, like, maybe people who, like, you know, they might have seen they jumped the gun. They like that. They thought he had more money. No, I'm not. Because you're smiling a little bit, man. No, I'm not. I'm not being sarcastic. I'm being real. Because because we go back. Before we get to me, we go back and see that, you know, uh, Cassidy promised A.R. Ab some things, yes? And then he put, why couldn't, you know, all due respect to Ab, why couldn't he look at it like, yo, he probably don't got it? Like, th- what do you think that could have molded it over if he would have uh, went to Ab and told him as a man? Like, in y'all opinion. Yeah, you gotta, gotta be I real. I got an interview where he says why. You gotta be real. You gotta be like, listen, this is what's going on right now. You said that, yeah. You sure. see this $500,000 check, but... You see what I'm saying? This is what I got. Boop, bop, boop, bop, boop. Look, I got just hold off for a minute. Not just like, yeah, just check. Push I go more. Buy. Got it. Got it. Okay, it's, so it's more of a man thing. Like, yeah, it's a little, like man, yeah, it's a little different. I got it. I and got then it. it's like you're not you dealing with somebody that know like he could take advantage of you at any given time. What, excuse me? Sorry. You're dealing with somebody that know he could, he could take advantage of you at any given time. It's like I could take your money if I wanted to. You guys treat certain people different, man. You can't treat everybody like that's that. Not, that's like bully. That's not fair. That's I mean, it is. Man. That's like just, that's it is what it is. It's that's Philadelphia. Like, no, there's no room for toughness in business, and I'm learning that the hard way. There's yeah, no I mean, room for toughness was, in business. They was friends, so I guess I guess it ain't, but it's like it's like rules that come with this shit. Oh, right, okay, I respect you. I respect if you're going to be around me, my, and it ain't like no tough shit or nothing like well, that, but it, the, you the, know, the, the, the all right, but you, of the person is a We certain. value people more than money. We value people. Mm. Now, if I'm a person that's going to get out the bed for you, you see what I'm saying? Get out of my bed. I look at my daughter while I'm leaving out the house. You see what I'm saying? And put my life on the line for you. We got to value that a little bit more than money. You can't respect. be stingy with the respect. money. Respect. Okay, okay. About a motherfucker that, you see what I'm saying? You got to value the people. Fuck the money. I would have gave that shit up if I was cash. Fuck the money. You worry about the nah, money. I agree, though. I, I feel like a lot of people. You got somebody that's going to put no, their no, life no, on the line money. for you. I'm, I'm, I'm listening. Yeah, we, we you got somebody that's willing to put their life nah, on the line we, for we, you we, that did it. These yeah. people you know came what, to though? your house with guns. <laughs> you, you know they what came to his house with I'm, guns. I'm hearing, he I'm hearing different him. stories about different artists and stuff like that, right? And how, and how they and how they go on tour and they do certain things for artists and how they, they, they don't get respected or treated a certain way. You know what I'm saying? I feel like if they were more transparent, then they probably respect him more. You know what I'm saying? If Cass nah, was like, yo, I mean, look. It was young. He was a first time millionaire. I got you in a month or two or, you know, I don't. I know what you're saying. You can't I promise you this deal, da, 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 but. You don't, yeah, but as an adult, no, no, you, you don't. But if you, but if you do, the city, somebody saying, "Yo, I can do this." Right, but but if you do, it's respected more. Mm-hmm. Exactly, but like I said, if you do, it's respected more. Like if I say, you're a flip. You know, when you come home, if he's that's, he's like the he come home, go off of bed. I don't, worry, and I don't you know. Yeah. I don't <laughs> but if, 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 I, if he called me and I'm like, "Yo, when you come home, I got you. I'm, I'm gonna put you on this journey. I'm gonna take care of you." He come home and he's working. He's helping me out, and I'm just right. like, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like I feel like I owe him. I feel like as 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 my partner, as, as my homie, as friend for you know 12, 13 years plus, I owe him a conversation like, "Yo, bro, look, I know I told you this, but it ain't hitting yet." Or I'm take care of you at a certain date. You know what I'm saying? Not just let him just tag along to all my gigs. I'm DJing. He's carrying the crates. Well, not crates no more, but he carrying the bag and shit. You know what I'm saying? Carrying the bags. He carrying the bags. <laughs> the laptop. And then he yeah. just sitting there like, "Damn, what's up? You promised me just this life. Right. I'm home now. What's up?" Exactly. So I, I I see I see what it is. I think you know we got to do a better job with. Being more, more, more well, transparent, yeah, but, but, but we but can't he, expect but, nothing either, though. We can't. No, but, and let me because you're get mm-hmm. finished, finish. We can't expect nothing. Get finished. Yeah, sorry. we can't really expect nobody. But it ain't. I, I'm not blaming neither side. You nah, see what I'm saying? I get you. My thing. Well, I'm kind of blaming Cassidy because you you exactly. were showing the checks, <laughs> exactly. But you were showing the money, exactly. and you was exactly. really like acting like you got it. And you well coming from Ab because I don't really know what's going on. Right, right. Coming from Ab, you was like showing the money, you bragging, and you like you. You know, you fucking, you really fucking the money up, right? And and you ain't really get get dogs that was risking their life. Look, but but that's what around. you said though, and this is what goes back to it. And, and I see it's, it's it's a deep subject because even Queen Erna gave a comment. So you know when right. she told she's up, she's so up, I, she's, <laughs> up. She's, up. <laughs> she's up. So I said I, right, I see right, something right, serious. Right, right. But you also said the person. This is what you said, and this is where I think you know ego come in. Not with you. I'm talking about even if it's on Cassidy or whomever. You said. This is a man that you know he could have took it from you, so you should at least take care of it. 
take care of him or yeah, be smart like he, or he put his mm. life on the line but but why must he go into that thinking that you get what i'm saying why must we feel like that not nah, be smart though see it's street shit on the law yeah, but you still got to be smart in the streets <laughs> no, no, no. you're right you I, gotta be see, smart you, you locked in you. the room with this guy that, wait, with you. you see what i'm saying i can't argue with that it's it like make, why would you put sense. yourself in another ass position like that you gotta be because he put himself in that position you invited this man on tour yeah you invited him on tour with you and you know type and it ain't like you know type of time he on already yeah it ain't like he hurt you or nothing like that he didn't do anything like that he just talked about you didn't cassie get hurt or something didn't he jump out the window for cassidy one time wasn't there story he jumped out the window for him with Gil see the thing is when I say that Gil like ain't nobody I expected them two to be on stage with each other because nobody expect Gil to pull out a gun and start shooting on stage I expecting that it's not what he known for nobody you see what I'm saying mm -hmm. nobody's expecting that but at the same time he not like a pussy He'll fight the shit out. The shit he had a join with Ab on stage with Cassidy. Ab, tell me. Ab said they was yeah, about at least 50 deep. Fat boy he said it was Gil. It might have been about three or four of them. He walk up to Cassidy. What's up? Walk up to all of them. Him and Ab have a square off. Like he just went against Cassidy because it's Cassidy. You see what I'm saying? If anybody behind Cassidy back, like in your mind, is like, oh, you got a group of pussies. It's Cassidy. It's like, y'all listening to him. It's like you're a group of pussy. So he wasn't afraid to walk up to a bunch of these people. Yeah, but Gil, you just said, but Gil wasn't, Gil was is not a pussy. Like as far as fighting, I'm, I mean, I don't yeah, even, I just know he can Daniel. fight. He can I'm fight. I never really, I'm about to get at this he don't got too many like situations where he <laughs> fought. No, Gil was a great guy. Right, Gil, as far as I know, Gil can fight. He a great guy. I don't Yo, know too many incidents you, what's up with you you where he talk, fought. Bro? It's like a slick type of talk. What's up with you? I'm saying he's a great guy. He's good, but uh, <laughs> no, I'm saying he's a great guy. That's how you talk. Like, yeah, yeah. He's like, it's, I'm not. It's like a double-handed comment. You know that, right? Yeah, but you know you're giving a double-handed comment. I'm from Area Avenue. Okay, Gil's from Area Avenue. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So, so people can't grow. I know niggas that 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 grow up to be killers. Thirty-five years old. Does that take away? The half of it. I'm not. It ain't got nothing to do with him being a killer, cause he are who he are. He's not acting like. Is he acting like? Did you know he's not acting? Did like you a get killer. that? Exactly. So but it don't he really. Act like he put work in. When when I used to watch his stuff, like he. I don't know he, about and, and people him. respected him. That's what mm. I got from it. People respected Gilly. Cause he get respect. When you get respect, you get respect. I. It ain't. I mean, I never heard about no. Where, I mean, not saying that I know everything that he do, but I'm from Area like Avenue, man. You go to I'm going to keep it a buck. You would know. You see what I'm saying? Like, you know about nah, the people slick growing up in your hood. You nah. know them. You see what I'm saying? It's your hood. you like, yeah, Gil did truthful. this. Gil was doing that back in the day. He was doing that. Like, no, none of that. The but, you just said, but, but you just said that your brother, when he walked up to him, you know, he was squaring up. He was ready. To yeah, he was that. ready to fight because, you know. You know, walk through metal detectors and all that shit. Ain't nobody got no guns. So you, <laughs> they was so, in the building. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm gonna get at him. So <laughs> you looking, you looking at society. You, at you, you looking at society from a, 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 a yeah. you, you, your, your mind in society is, you know. So you, obviously, you grew past that. You grew, you know, back in the days. You know, you remember that people use these. These are what matters. Yeah, right. Absolutely. Right? These are what matters. Isn't that what we're supposed to be promoting if there's an issue? But you're looking at society or how you looked at society is that, you know, I mean, the gunman do get respect, but anybody could shoot a gun, yes? It's about how nah. you present yourself. And, you know, tell me how you think. It's an honest question. <laughs> no, because I grew up, I grew up fighting. There's nobody, not, I, this is how I grew, I grew up fighting. We all grew up fighting. Okay. You see what I'm saying? I had a lot of fights. I can't. I'm known, you see what I'm saying, for getting violent, not just with guns. It's like, I'm going to fight. I'm going to do whatever I got to do, stab, buy, whatever. That's just not what Gil known for. I'm not saying, like, it's a bad thing because that's not what he promoting. That's not what I'm promoting either. But if somebody, if you was to say, what's up with Leek Moss? They not going to say, oh, he's a great guy. They're going to say, yeah. they say he's a great guy, but they're going to also tell you, like, no, nah, he get, I've heard. You see what I'm saying? I don't think too many people could tell you that about. It's like I heard Cassidy get. I heard get. No, like the type of. They not them type of people. Man. They're great guys. What about me, Mill? I don't really know him like that. And the only thing I've heard is good stuff. You see, but you got to understand that he's been rapping. <laughs> he's been a a hot rapper in Philly since he was like 15, mm. 16. 
So if you're going to give, like, you'll be dumb to think that he was, like, in, in the streets like that. What about He's Reed been Dollar? rapping for all that time. You ever heard of Reed? Yeah, I heard of Reed Dollar. What do you, so you ever heard of Reed? What do you feel about him? <laughs> Reed Dollar is a rapper. Right. I'm sorry to hurt y'all feelings, you man. You can't hurt my feelings. <laughs> y'all shouldn't have had, like, you're not, you're not, y'all should, you shouldn't have brought me Reed, get Reed Dollar's a rapper. No, 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 but you are not hurting my rapper. feelings at all. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if you like these guys, like, you really like these guys. Your opinion or your facts on them doesn't change how I feel about them. Oh, you know, okay. I may have a personal rapport with Reed. Gilly shows me love. It doesn't change it. But I want to see what... No, this... Gilly's a great guy. Yeah, you said, show you, and you said that, and I salute you for that. I think that... But I, I feel personally that it was it's, it's a double-edged comment. But like, tomato, tomatoes, it's cool. And I feel like, you know, because, you know, like when we... If so, if he bring you in here, and when, even when he talk about you, you know, he said... Nah, I was just making a point, he's, though. He's official. No, you made a point. You made a point. Like, basically... That he's Philly guy's not supporting guy. Philly. Just because you've seen them two guys on stage together. They was only on stage together because they know they, it was no chance of none of them getting harmed. So if there was a chance That's of why. getting harmed, they wouldn't be on stage together. Yes? Fuck no, Gil. Not going nowhere. You think he could get harmed at? Think he going to walk into a line? You got too much going. They not walking into no lines then. Them people there, we got, I'm not going. What about when uh, Beanie Siegel got punched? How did y'all feel about that? I was I was a little hurt about that, man. Because it's Beans. Exactly. exactly. I hurt my feelings. Let's talk feelings. about that. Let's it's talk about Beans. That. Let's I hurt about bad. That. That's sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was hurt behind that, too. Yeah, I was hurt when yeah, I first yeah. seen that. Why you like, hurt behind that? Because it's Beans. It's Beans. I'm going to say you, you're from Queens. It don't matter. <laughs> and this is Beans, man. This is a this nah, is I Philadelphia. I'm trying to why he hurt by it. This is Beans. Don't you know I'm good at kidnap kid? What you talking about? You crazy? This is Beanie Siegel, man. So when he got knocked out, it, it kind of hurt my heart. Trying to get it down for that new, you know what I mean? Mm. Man, but, 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 but what about, about what about what about what about Beanie Siegel? Was he was he respected as well? Or are you gonna label him as a rapper as well? No, Beans was respected as okay. far as I know. Okay, so he's official. You give him Beans. I remember a time Beans pulling up on Airy Avenue when he was going through it with Gilly, Green Bentley with a chick in a passenger seat. Pulled up on Airy Avenue and jumped out and was asking for Gilly. Like, what's up? Where you at? Now, at this time, Gilly was far removed from hanging on Airy Avenue. You know what I'm saying? But he did it, though. He still came out there. He did. You you wouldn't catch Gilly out there at this time, though. You see what I'm saying? Hmm. So you try to say he knew you wouldn't catch Gilly at this time? I didn't know if he knew a knife from South Philly. South Philly and North Philly is like two totally different parts of Philly. Mm-hmm. Most people from South Philly don't even cross over that side. Some people from North Philly never been to South Philly. The guy that punched Beanie Siegel, did, did he did he, he get a pass? Does he get a pass? Did he get a pass? I guess. Ain't nothing happened to him. I guess he got a pass. Or oh, they talked it out. You know, it was a South Philly thing. So, I, you know, they oh. was, like, close, like, in family. Like, some of his family used to hang. We used to be with Beans. Or Beans grew up under his uncle. I mean, there's it a, it a lot of family ties in there. So, I guess it just got squashed we like can, that. We, we can all agree that that wasn't honorable. At all. Well, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know the story behind it to say if it was honorable or not. I don't oh, know what Beans respect, did. Respect, to respect. Get, and um and, and and so a lot of these guys are just rappers, basically. They rappers and majority you know, of them, yeah. ninety ninety seven percent of them. And do you come from a standpoint? Last question, and then I have to I have to turn on the fire. Um, <laughs> do, do you do you come from a standpoint where you're saying that look, Flip, these guys rap about a life that they may not live, and the people are looking at them in that light? Is that the standpoint that you come from? No, I come from. Well, I guess, I don't know. I'm just, yeah, I mean, you can, you got to be from Philly to know. And it ain't really up to nobody to be like, come on. Like, this came up in a conversation. You got to tell them that it came up organically. It was like Philly support each other. I seen Gil on the stage with Cass. That's how that came up. Yeah. I'm not going to be like, oh, this guy, I'm get on this camera. Well, I don't usually get on the camera, but this guy fake this, no, majority of them. I be all fucking day doing that. 97% of them is lying. Now, I met a lot of them. And it's like, so, a lot of them is like, I got a bunch of cash broke. A majority, like, this shit is sad. It's sad, man. So whose story are they? Kind of um, turn me off. Are they telling them? They, 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 like, whose story are they telling on, on the records? They, their friend stories? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. 
It ain't really hard to make. <laughs> Joe, I don't know whose story they tell. <laughs> Who we talking about though? The, 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 the artist, the artist yeah, that you yeah, said that you said. Whoever, I don't know how they get them. That that's not being real. Get these stories from man. <laughs> yeah. what, what I'm saying is that, like I said, since being young, the, 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 the home of brotherly love is called. Since being hmm. young, you know, even though Philly, like I told you, I witnessed some crazy stuff as a kid, as a teenager going there. So I always had that respect. And I always respect the fact that there's no gangs. But since being young, you always heard that Philadelphia holds nobody, down Philadelphia. But nobody not, support each other. In, nobody support each other in Philadelphia. In a moment, you let it, it, it crumbles when you don't. When the person in position of power got to be strong, and he got to be, uh, what I'm gonna say, uh, confident. You see what I'm saying? That nobody can come in and outdo me. You see what I'm saying? It, if that's not the case, then it's going to always be a crab in a barrel mentality because somebody's going to make it out and it's like, I can't help him. He's better than me. You see what I'm saying? He got more strength than me. He, I can't even be in a room telling the same lies that I was telling with him in the room with me. And I understand that. It's not a slight. I understand that. Why would somebody like a known, like, all right, I can't fight. I'm a coward. I'm in this room. And it's like I'm the top dog of Philly. Why would I let this like <laughs> this real? Like I'm not letting this guy in. He's gonna take over everything I got going on. Last I question. I can't control him. Last question. Who will we say from Philly that got on that put people on? Down from Beanie Siegel on. Who would you say like I seen him put his people on? Who would you give that credit to? Because earlier you did well, say Beans Gilly put, put people the on. state property on. So Beans put state property on, so you yeah, give him credit so, for that. Yeah, you got to give him credit for that. Yeah. Salute to them. Gil put everybody on. I like literally. Oskino put a lot of people on. Really? Um, yeah, he put a lot of people on. He put everybody, like, if he like you, you could get on his mixtape. <laughs> he that guy. Like, you, you could rap a little bit. Come on, get on my job. That's Oskino. Gil, he helped a lot of people. He took a lot of everybody's favorite artists. He the first person took him up to the radio station. A lot of everybody's favorite artists. A.R. Ab, he took Ab up to the radio station. He he helped a lot of people and still continue to do it. You see, that's why I can continuously say that he's a great guy. Nobody's going to contest that. Everybody knows, like, Gil's, like, really a good guy. But like, you're not going to get in no trouble. Like, he's not going to be the guy that's, like, get punched on South Street and shit. Like, because he don't, f like, for what? Fuck you punch Gil for Fuckers would be, would be more mad at you. Like, they'd be more mad at you. Like, what the fuck you punch get? What the fuck? You see what I'm saying? Respect. Wallow. They great guys. Nah, let me get to you. <laughs> Smash somebody on. So, you are considered, you came up with this whole thing on YouTube. And people like, first of all, you sell CMOS. Right. Um, we're going to get into that as far as like people accusing you of robbing the people. You heard about that story, oh, correct? Yeah. Okay, we're going to get into that in a couple minutes. But right. you say that you snatch people honor. And snatch a lot of a lot of people honor that you snatch are from New York City. Mm. Now, who put you in that position in society to think that you can snatch somebody's honor? That's the first question. The, 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 you know how I said, because I don't want y'all to mix this up with my religion. Like, I don't want somebody to be like, man, you heard his shit is gods, it's other gods. But the the law of honor did wow. put me in position. It put me in position to be able to say wow. the fact that you kept your honor intact. The law, wow. yeah. okay. There's rules and laws to honor. I got a book even coming out too on it. Now listen, from the beginning of time, there's been these rules and laws of honor, meaning that you don't go against the principles that you stand on if you're part of the streets just so happened you guys have the most celebrity rats in the world who are the children gonna listen to me about when i speak on a rat although i beg a different about the new york thing i just think more people are focused because it's new york i'm saying it on like yeah like because you know it's got bigger names exactly it's like so if i say a nikki barnes same way, what's his name? Uh, what's the guy named Sean? What do he say about Nikki Barnes? I know my mom's was getting knocked off by Nikki Barnes. And <laughs> why would you want to tell the world that? 
to no you. disrespect to Sean, but it's like Sean. What happened? Know. Why would you want to tell that Nikki Barnes make a lie and say he was your father? In a rap, I mean, we understand it's entertainment, but you actually chose Nikki Barnes, a guy who not only made our people look bad at a time when struggling and getting money was at a time, like, damn, I'm gonna put you on, we can't get a job. You took time out to turn around and bang your best friend. They don't talk about how I honor the guy Fishers. You took time out to bang that man all because he had sex and if, with a woman you was having an affair with, where's the honor in that? So, like I said, you are, so society put you in your mind because, you know, you wasn't mm -hmm. done. Right, true, and yet, true. People do know about it, but in your mind, let's right. say in your mind, let's go right. in your brain. Okay. In your brain, society puts you in position to snatch people's honor, to, to sort of put it out there to the public that you are a tattertale, or you're a rat, and I'm going to take your honor. No, it was more of an example. Like, um, I was doing a school thing where I was giving, I had a workshop called Hurt People, Hurt People. Hurt People, meaning hurt people that's hurting their life. Myself, a guy was abused. Got it. I was hurting people. That's what I said, yeah. So it wound up becoming a thing when I'm talking to the youngins. It's like, yeah, you know Alpo, or you heard of Rich Porter. You heard of AZ? They're like, some of them, yeah, some of them, no. But for the most part, they was like, yeah. And when I start giving an understanding of how Alpo done Rich Porter because the streets from the I had, I, I, I'm, and I'm going to give y'all this. Rich Porter's baby mom, Angela, got in contact with me. I never gave nobody this story. Some good people know. And she didn't come with disrespect. She came with the fact she heard me saying what I was saying, she was like, you got to know them. There's no way around it. You know them. And I was like, nah. What it was was I watched the movie and it killed me because I never saw the end of it. You know how that hurts a person? And I will ever, if you don't see the end of the movie, you're going to think Alpo was a stand-up man. So you're going to glorify because the way he was doing things. He done things in a matter to court, court a guy who didn't have that was in the streets attention. So you begin to grasp it like, damn, he's the one. And you're a part of this. And then all of a sudden, you watch the end of the movie. And he says, I ain't booking nobody. I'm not telling on nobody from Harlem. But I know some DC cats. And you think about it like, damn. He manipulated Wayne Perry on the street level that's beyond some people understand. You know what he done? He got him out of jail when no one else in his hood because he was a murderer. But he was taking a lot of their money. Alpo was a brainiac. He said, I'm going to get him out of jail. I'm going to show this boy some honor. And when I show him some honor, he'll do whatever I tell him to do. And what he done was he intentionally lined them all up. A lot of people don't know before he got arrested. When they got him, you know what he done? He had them a couple days. He already knew they was coming. So what he done was he contacted, he told them about the vans and things of that nature that they had. But he told Wayne Perry and them to put their guns in a specific spot. So to get themselves arrested. When the cops came to get the MPVs and they lifting the rugs back, they finding all type of evidence. Got them. We got guns with prints. We got everything. Wayne Perry had killed his, 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 he had killed his baby mother. He said that's the only thing that he regretted. Because another dude, man, if, 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 I'm, if, I'm, if I'm wrong with the name, forgive me, because I am not from there. But I followed it and I watched it to help the youth and help myself not even when I wanted to, like, damn, it's hard times. I need it. I need to get some money. No, nah, think about how Alpo shot a shot Rich Porter in the back of his head. You want to really go that way? No, nah, I'm not going that way. And it just came to a point that one day I was like, ah. And when I done that, they was like, oh, he's snatching honor. Slow down. <laughs> Slow down. Slow down. So 
in all reality, you actually look at these guys and, 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 and admire them, no? You watch the movie, you admire them, and then you found a crack into the pavement and decided to pick at it, correct? Not at all. So you didn't like them at all? No. Because you're not a hater. So no, because you gave a good joint up. You, what you're giving is like you're saying the truth, but you're missing the point. I never watched the end of the movie. Thank you, Scarface, until you've seen the end of the movie. You remember that part? Yes. On that song, right? Yes. You know what he meant by that, right? No. Thank you, Scarface, until you sent the end to the movie. What happened? Main man jump behind him and blow his whole back up, Scarface. Yeah. Yeah. Gangster, till you see the end of the movie. Mm -hmm. Thank Alpo got some honor till you see the end of the movie. I'm and you find out it's the truth. But you just said, so, but you like, did you like Alpo? Yes, Alpo? I liked okay, his I whole said that. I said that. Yeah, yeah. remember I said the average street kid that watches a guy who has a robe on, who's wearing Gucci flip-flops, he's doing this, he's killing, and he's doing it at an awesome pace, and he's not a rat. That's what the dream was as a kid coming up, and negativity was to become the guy who got the shines. <laughs> Mm. Let's go. Let's go. I take my sweat off. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 why must our people attack people that we wouldn't that be? Wouldn't you consider yourself if that was somebody do? Well, you have honor, so you don't tell. But if for whatever reason he told, not saying I'm not, I, I wouldn't tell. I, I don't glorify right. him telling. But wouldn't you be in a category of a hater? Would you consider yourself a hater because you, you're going out your way? to expose something that we all know, but people in society probably didn't. I may deem it like, yo, that nigga told, man, that sound crazy. But a lot of people, you're trying to point out the fact, what are you trying to get this man to show the people you shouldn't glorify this man because of what he did? I, I, I want, you know what I wanted? This is what the intention was. After I started start picking up, I said, damn, maybe this mutt will come forth and be like, you know, like, yo. Why you gotta be a I, mutt for? Cause that's right, right, sorry, they're part of the mutt family. They all mutts. And I felt like he would've came forth and said, Yo, I'm a rat, and I'm young, and I apologize. I lied to y'all. I just done 30-something years. I'm a man on my word, man. And, you know, we got a king going to snatch in my honor. But I just want to say to you, every young man out here, what I done to Rich was wrong. What I done to Wayne Perry was wrong. What I done to our community, how I corrupted y'all minds, it was wrong, man. And know what he done instead? <clears throat> he gave interviews glorifying it. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Mm. I, 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 he didn't glorify in the interview. Shit. He didn't glorify in the interview. See, Rich was my man, but uh, I'm going to give it to you. That's how Rich you was my That's man, but uh, let me give you this junk, man. And, um, no, no, you no, know, no, no, you can't say that. Don't tell his sister that he went to the bathroom in himself when I blew his beak off. Come on, man. He said He said that? Yes. Hmm. I didn't hear that in the interview. Man, that's his twist. That's where he glorifies. No, wait, hold on. I didn't hear that in the interview that I heard when he was talking on the phone. He was like, his man shot rich from behind. He said, but they would let his sister know if she wants to know that he ain't get a chance to scratch me or nothing. Because at the end of the day, he ain't even see it coming and he went to the bathroom on himself. But he didn't say it like that. Yeah, he did. He didn't say it like that. He did. Well, I'm, not, I'm, not glow, I'm not saying this right. That's, they, they said My that, thing is that. No, no, well, hold on, hold on. Right, hold on, right, hold on. Right. What, I, what I'm saying is that I'm not saying that what he did was right to Rich right. Porter. Because a lot of people say that Rich Porter is a great was a great man. I guess he you know they say he was a bad guy too though. He was a bad guy, but people liked him. They said, said he was he a boogeyman. He he smiled and he and he and he had like a you know when I had Lou on the couch. He said that after what Alpo did to Rich, um, it put like a, a a dark cloud over Harlem. You know because it went it made people go out there and not trust their friends anymore. Everybody looking at each other side sideways because of how close Rich and Alpo were allegedly were. And he, how can you do that to Rich? Did you see him? Rich glow as a man, as this uh, based off honor? Did you see how he carried it? You know how we talked about hate? Then let's categorize. If we want to put me in the rat hate categorized group, I'm there. Sign me all the way up. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to keep it 100 with you that it was his aura, it wasn't, it wasn't, when we come up, when I came up in my era, mm -hmm. that wasn't practice. That's who we were. Mm -hmm. We was earnest. We figured it out. Remember his his sister said he would take scrap and put it inside of a aluminum foil and he would put it in the oven and he would put it together and he would call it hash and he would take it out and sell it to the people. He was an earner because his intentions wasn't to harm the people. Respect, I But it was he, he needed a he needed a dollar. But here it is, right? A guy says to you, 
he, this is where our pool game thing was. And we don't want to stick on his rack too much, but this was his thing that him and Rich had to connect. And he put Rich on the neck like, yo, listen, man, main man got him. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, he said he's going to get with me. So when he get, when he get everything get right, he going to hit me too. So he like, damn, main man ain't getting with me. He ain't hit me. And I heard Rich talking about he running, talking about the boy got it. And he asked the boy like, yo, did Rich get him? And Rich, yeah, Rich, I gave him something for you. So you know what I said at that point before I saw any or heard anything else? I said, Rich deserved to have been hit. You know why? Because if that's the truth and he was taken from his man, he deserved to get hit. But when the truth comes out, that it was not like that. Rich goes, nobody else was honoring with nothing. It was tight. You know, you're spending all your big money. His brother in this situation, he go get some jaws from the other boy, uh, Fritz. Fritz. Okay. He go get him, boom. He jump in the wheel, boom, he meet. Get a call from Alpo, Alpo, ah, ah. Alpo claims he asked him twice. That was his man. Third time's a charm. He said, I'm at, you know, did you get something? Nah, he kept denying it. Claim when he came here, that's why he killed him. Now, it wasn't that, man. And you know the streets, you could feel it too. This was the scheme that he gave. He was able to give Harlem because of the all things that he'd done. He'd done that with Jesus. It made him God because of the all things that he'd done. You see where I'm coming from? And what Alpo done was, he manipulated so well to a point where as though he made the whole Harlem and the whole world go to bed. Like, no, nah, Rich deserved it when he took them bricks from him because they was they he was getting robbed over in DC. Them dudes, a couple dudes over there was doing him greasy, you know what I mean? Like really disrespecting him and taking him. He was getting people put down, but he was broke. You know, they're getting all these M's. That's why they ain't have money for certain things. They're spending all their money being cute and cool like we most of us do in the hood. And what he done was he came and he killed his best friend for the brick money, for the money that he was going to get his little brother out of, man. Where's the honor that and that? When you feel that and you hear that, it's like, how you get that out that movie? I'm from the streets. And the way Angela gave it up, so far, she's been the truth. You know why? She said AZ was a rat. She told me she got paperwork because she get in a situation. A friend with her say slice AZ. AZ goes and book her and him in too. She never wanted to come forth though. She always was paranoid. She got a daughter. She like, man, my daughter don't want me a part of this nonsense. It's nonsense. You dig where I'm coming from? But at the end of the day, she was telling me, I grasp what you're saying because you knew the truth. She knew, I knew that AZ and, and Rich Porter had a block right across the street. AZ turned around and put his, his, his joints in there for wholesale while this boy going retail across the street. Come on, man. It's a hater. He coming out. Everybody talking about how was he a rat. I don't even know how they got the Kevin Childs part because I believe when he said it. But they forgot that this boy had some people come in the house and murder everybody. And he told on them. And he was a part of the streets, 199%. People made excuses because they do that when a dude got some money and he done some things. But look, Malcolm, Malcolm done everything in the world for us, right? And I still had to say the truth for what it is. You said Malcolm X was a rat. Nah, I mean, you know, he oh, is. That's that's what no, that is called. No, no, he not. You know what I mean? <laughs> he not a rat. You say he a rat because... He's a teller, teller than her. Because he, he told on him. He told on the people... He, he, he told on the people that was going to kill him. That, so that, is, that, that had intentions a, on killing him. I say he prophesied. He ain't telling him. Exactly. Prophesied. Prophesied. I don't know one prophet. His name is... And Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Isa, alayhi wa sallam. Um, um, Ibrahim, alayhi wa sallam. Uh, Juna, alayhi wa sallam. No one is coming with a prophecy in this time. But hold on, but hold on. But, might you, see something that he but, thinks but you, is on But you're wrong. I'm going to tell you why. I'll tell you why you're wrong. Okay. So he, had, he he told in advance? Yeah. He like you can't rat in advance. No. Yeah, you can. no, you Yo, can't. No, you can't. Yeah, they do it on, on the gram. They bugging. do it on the gram. He yeah, passed away. Shoot my, I'm going to shoot my location. <laughs> Damn, I pulled the pull up there after you tell me this, cousin. You got to be kidding me, man. That's a new era of talent. Pull up on me then. I'm right here at so and so. Hold on, but listen, listen. Malcolm ain't a rap because he passed away. 
He said X Ray. He said I can see the CIA killing me. He didn't say. John from the CIA is going exactly. to kill me. Exactly. He said, I can see exactly. Him get him. Get him. Get him. Pause. Get him. Get him. Get him. Mm. So when Only them, on that point. When them white people <laughs> asked that man, did the honor boy Elijah Muhammad and them have intentions on taking attempts of his life, what did he say? He said, yeah. What All was right, he supposed then. to do? Let's talk about it. I don't know. He was living in Queens. Do, do, what was he supposed do, to do? Yeah. Those are my brothers. I don't know what you're talking about no, okay, here then today. Okay, what are you supposed to do next? What are you supposed to do next? Get, 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 either go to war or get ghosts. I expect him getting away. I'd rather see his, his back. Hey, get no away. Keep your eye on it, Come back at a better shit. time. You get better, you, 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 you fight better. If you can't lose, if you can't win, it's a different So you don't era. respect Malcolm X for staying. You don't respect him for staying and standing on his square. You feel he should have just got ghosts. I, I yes? know Malcolm X, he just told, though. That's all I'm just telling you the truth. <laughs> he didn't, he, I love the guy, like, everything he done, but it's like, you're a rat. CIA, though, because you done that. You asked me a question. I did. But, 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 so would you get me to get on? Could I get on in and snatch his honor and all that? Nah. No. I ain't going to do it, man. I ain't going to do it. You, you know why? You can't snatch his honor. So we can't snatch no, Malcolm he's, X he's a unique. he's a unique individual. So there's, there's some sort of unhonorable, there's some sort of unsnatching. What about Tupac? No. Tupac Riz, never Riz. Never rat. Never rat. Revolutionary though. He made a fucking song saying he rat. Hold on, hold on. Revolutionary though, so I just let him get by his mom and I'm just like, all right, let him go. You gotta slow down with with this type of slander because you don't have any documentary proof. What? You don't. There's no rat telling on somebody is supposed to be do on documents. You think you so? Are, yes, you think yes. So? You know how I many dudes I know. You are an informant. We have paperwork. You know how many dudes I know that. You told that, them, that you know how many dudes that don't got nothing on uh, paperwork that just said it around the corner. Yeah. Flip got like, it. He just put it under his stomach. He the got the it around the corner. They pulled them out of the car. They set him in the back of the cop car. There's one sitting right here. One oh, yeah, sitting right here. Oh yeah. The cop is sitting. The guy behind him is shaking his head. He's like, "What's them pills in the car? That's yours, dude." Behind him, like. That's his. The and they people. took him to jail. And he ain't had no statement, no pick, none of that. Nothing. He's so, still told. The so you Philly shooting. The shooting in Philly of the six cops. He was a rat. He shot six cops. Oh, yeah. Still fucking told. That was his block. That was his house. Damn, man. Saying. Told him. So I'm confused. What? Yeah, you know. Six cops that got shot in Philly. Okay. He was a rat. The guy that shot the cops was a rat. I did my piece, man. Y'all go ahead and kick it to them. Yeah, he was a rat. He was a rat. Who did he tell on? Some, Some stuff that, that he had going on. His hood. He ain't telling on from... He was from Southwest or something, right? He told on them niggas. So, you know, I'm going to tell you, you know why? I'm so out, out of... I'm out of the... Like, you know, like with Philadelphia, I love my city. But you never see me. You never... You notice you never see me, like, in pictures with nobody else except for my brothers. You never see me, like, damn, why he ain't with this person is doing this or... Hey, I'm never going to do it. You know why? Why? I'm about to, yo. The honor slim. is slim. Everybody has something for sale or they want to sell something that's different. Like I love certain Philadelphians that I love that are my brothers, but the ones that go outside of that rim, it's like I don't want to be bothered. I am not associated. I do not feel like I can connect. I don't think they can, I can benefit nothing. I don't want to. I'd rather turn my joint around and get honored. And let people love and respect what I do, and I think it'll graduate. Have more. you snatched anybody's honor in Philly? Because that's what we. Of course. That's what, that's what people want to see. People uh, don't want you coming in. You got York, Google it right, right now. now. Google it now. You, you bought everybody in New York. Honor? Who? Boy, what are we talking about? Marcus. I snatched his honor. I snatched that red toughy honor. I snatched that red. Um, who else? Just Google it, frog. I I snatched at least 10, 12 people. I skagged my OG. So what's the what's what's the point? What's the point? So let me give you before before I get give you the because I'm gonna close it out on something. But what's the point and the motive of snatching honor? What are you trying to convey to society? For the are young, you trying to start a? Oh wait, hold on, stop. Are you trying to start a cult of people of honorary new members? Damn, that's good. Yeah, that's kind of good. But you see this shirt I got on? Stop recycling crime. No five K one. I got two sections I want to present to the world. Two sections is listen. Section A. It's for the individual. That's recycling crime. The one that come home from the streets that's like, you know what? I don't have no other way. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go in and get down with the government and I'm going to lock people up. I'm going to turn youngins out. Think them kids when they come out their house, what are they, what are they looking up to? Mother doing 16 hours at work all day, every day. They looking at the rat at the corner of the block, though. That's jumping in and out the bins that ain't his, but it's wired down. 
He only want to tell on certain individuals. That's his thing. You see what I'm saying? So section A is for them. Section B is for individuals such as ourselves. Ex-felons changing our lives around and coming home and wanting to rebuild what we once destroyed. So I'm trying to stop recycled crime. It just so happened the world, you know how you said, like, who put you there? The world did. They called me the honor snatcher. I didn't give Nobody it that. put you there. Nobody they did go that. online. This, they said this it. They said, self, oh, this King is Erna. self-inflicted. Listen, you I'm going to give you this gift. Yeah. You self no. indoctrinated yourself. And no disrespect, just like the Honorable right. Elijah Muhammad, when he act like he met a guy named Farah when I read the story, these are all self-indoctrinated things. He, 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 he wasn't up here. He wasn't. I don't yeah. co-sign him. No, 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 no. He wasn't no, no, no. up here. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not that. It's not. It's not. I'm not defensive about Alpo. He wanted my reason. I, I, exactly. It's not about defensive. So is my reason good enough for you tonight? Reason, that, that, I, you, but you, the, hold on. Hold on let, me, let me get at you real quick. Yeah. Defend the word defending, meaning that you're saying that I co-sign or say that what he did was right, right? I don't think telling is right, but that's how I was raised, right? I was raised, but I'm not here to, I'm not a judge or a jury. I don't give a fuck. They got nothing to do with me. You know what I'm saying? Rich it Porter. Does, though. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me correct what I mean. Rich Porter, that story, as far as society, what's going on, what I'm doing, as far as what we're doing, flip the script. You know, we want to do it with honor, of course, and, and, and put out there that, you know, it isn't right to do something to your friend and stuff like that, and it isn't right. You know what I mean? And it isn't right that. So we not, there's no way in hell am I glorifying it. But I'm asking a man from Philly. Right. Home of brotherly love. What gives him the right mm-hmm. to come mm-hmm. and keep? Because I know you. I started you know the whole story. Your first so, you, so you looked up to them. You looked up to him. You know the whole story. Right. You broke it down. So what, so what happened? No, the story don't mean. Hold on, hold on. Pause. He Listen. said he looked up to them earlier. He keep asking me. He's good though. He's trying to get the same question again. Listen, let me give you this. No, though. no, no. I, I didn't ask you asked me a question. question. You said that. You. Had, I mean, I, I gave you the example. It's your man. It's him. Hey, listen. It's him. He gave me. Hey, look. But look. I'm giving you the example though. The example is that it's a situation. 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 I didn't know that Alpo was a rat. I got it. When I found out he was a rat, it made me see, damn, that lifestyle ain't for you neither. Respect. But youngins, more than anything, this guy is now in home. And guess what? He's not on no platform at all saying, I apologize. So you want him to say sorry? For what he did and a long hold up. I'm but, just asking. What, but what, what, I think that he helped the communities better if you say, "I apologize." I told him my honor is not intact. Then no, ain't gonna say that. No, yeah, I don't, I don't, say, I, I don't I, say I, it, I, man. Get out of here. Hold on. Man. Right. I don't he think that's what rat you know came, came out and, and, and apologized like that. Exactly. For what? Rat. Like, ooh, 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 ooh. What, what rat do you know came out after rat and apologized? Well, I, I, I ran a dudes in the I done a dudes in the can. Hold on, hold on one second. I ran a dudes in the joint. Right. That does that a lot. That do that a lot. That being there, down a the building, and they be like, "Damn, I was wrong." I, but you know, he didn't I went make that, the and then get out of there. I understand mm-hmm. where he going. That is like he, correct he the fact that you being a glorified, a highly glorified <laughs> rat. But he didn't make Yo, the, movie. the movie. No, I'm saying this is crazy, what he's bro. saying. Mm. This is his thing. You're a highly glorified rat. Tell the people that ratting is not cool. Yeah. Tell the people that the street life is not cool. But he didn't glorify himself. Mm. You, you see what I'm saying? He was incarcerated. The movie, the people he was incarcerated. Him. Y'all must not no, listen to but he's what's going on. He's Pause. No, no, no. Listen. He, no, he does glorify that. it. He glorifies what he done. By walking around in Harlem? You're no, 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 no. By, ta- the movie by talking. Out. No, y'all missing after it. After the movie came out. He already, no, before the movie. I gotta say something that's not after true. the movie came out. No, man. way before the movie came out. The the, the message with him on Don, well, I, I don't know if it was Don Devo on the recording about Wayne Perry. He ain't give it up yet. They said to him, they said to him. That. That he said, he said, he said, but Wayne, he said, but that's my man. I ain't gonna give it up. Then he gave it up later, but he been gave it up. They just didn't let the audio out. He told the people, yo, listen, boss, don't let that out yet because I ain't bang him yet. Everything got to take place. I got to make sure everything that I got going on. And they were still going in court and different things of that nature. He set Wayne Perry up and he put it, if you listen to him, he glorifies it. I can't see. You know it. Flex loves it. I mean, not Flex. K Slate loves it when he get on there. He get on that joint, he be like, Hey, 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 tell him, Poe. Tell him, Poe. You saw what he said to AZ? Get over here. Get on this phone, AZ. Poe on the line, man. Because dudes take the things that he done like they done. Like, like, like they just take it too far and all. 
It comes a time with a man that falls. If he falls, he falls. Let him fall. Yeah, why his is queen, to give me the ice grill, man? She, huh? she, she scared me. Tell Queen to yeah, chill out, man. because she, ready. she don't like that. <laughs> Hold it down, baby. Don't do nothing. <laughs> listen, listen, she don't like that because you know why? At the end of the day, she dishonors that. You know what I'm saying? She dishonors that. But like I said, man, um, I feel like honor snatching is for the youth. Honestly, I'm going to keep it real with you. They grasped to it. I didn't. I didn't put myself as an honor snatcher. Mm. I looked online. I, I done a move, and it was like, yo, he just snatched this honor. And it was like, oh, shoot. Well, I'm snatching honor here. And it was never. Go to my YouTube page and look it up. Look up that rat Maybach O. Oh, these dudes is, is, is running around now. These dudes ain't dudes that like, you know, that's hot and or there are rats like here. I sell it and go what? Kiss my rear end. I don't care. And I'm gonna tell on everybody. Yeah, that's what they do. I'm not quiet about it. Mm. Everybody else is quiet about it, but I don't deal with a lot of people. Period. Because it's like, what's my benefit with dealing with some of these guys? <laughs> Something is wrong with you, bro. <laughs> it is. It is and, though. And, and you know I you know it is that? though. It's because against so the rest. what rest. do you want to happen? So you you, you you answered you answered that. But my thing is that. <laughs> It's like yeah, we're mad at him for walking around. You get mad at the niggas in Harlem for him. Y'all mad at me for right. telling the truth, though. Do that. They used to go in hold on, pause. I ain't mad at you. Be... No, I, I, no, no, no. I'm only no, telling the no, truth, no, 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 though. No, 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 hold on. I'm, I'm saying that you did stay. I'm just trying to show right. you something. You know, it's a tendency of people that you said that you, you initially that you liked them until you found out you did some necessary research and your principal honor within yourself allowed you not to rock with him anymore. At all, period. And, and, and I want the youngest to see that from my point of view. And you made it your objective to point that out, though. No, I made it a fact. It's the truth. It's the it truth, was... but but you're going out your way to point it out. No, yes? it's just easy. It's just like if you go online, no, it's already there. Like, what do you mean? Like, I just I done it in a unique way. What? It's not unique. Hold the fuck up. Who else snatching honor? It is unique. Oh, oh, he, the snatching honor is the entertainment piece of it, but it's real shit. Take your time. Not recycling crime. Yeah. Take your time. Take your time. Yeah, go hide yourself in a box, man. Some hey. cousin. Y'all, 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 hey, y'all, hey, like, oh, no. Oh, oh, you got hard bottles on. I'm a broke nigga. Get out of here, man. You sit oh, around. I'm a pop. I don't want to wait. You look nice, too. I like it, though. But chill out, man. You want Gina, but why you bothering me, man? I told you earlier. Leave me alone. I can I'm, I'm not glorifying. I'm not glorifying him, but I'm trying to tell you, you can't get mad at him. You gotta get mad at the people in Harlem that is allowing him to walk around. I agree. That's what I'm saying. That's my point. Be mad at everybody then. Be mad at everybody. He's sneaking around. Okay, I didn't hear. But I didn't hear him say that. The rat lovers is they get it. I didn't hear him say that. But I didn't hear him say that. Then you ain't snatching rat lover honor. I'm snatching it, throwing it. Snatch Why you think Miss T? Can we get somebody out of the You snatched Mayor Malik out of the day. Yeah, I snatched his honor too. Who? Uh, you know. Who? Mayor Malik. Yeah. Yes, uh, uh, man, you listen to me. Through the moon. The moon. So you watch this guy. This guy's a hype. What's wrong with you, bro? Hey, listen. Let me give y'all this. Let me give y'all this. Let me give y'all this. Wait, wait, real quick before you give us that. Because we got. Alpo tried to meet up with you, yes? You know, you're here. You're not scared. So why you didn't meet up with him and have a conversation? I didn't know. No, he said he tried. He told Kick Earners, he's an ADX. They're not even giving him yard in ADX. Where's King Earner at? He's an ADX. They're not giving him I on mean, no... I mean, if you meet up with him, you go to jail, nigga. What are you talking about? Why would you go to jail if you meet up with him and have a conversation? Uh, F, a 5K1 no informant can easily have me meet them somewhere and tell a, their agent. That Pull guy there, King Earner, that's been Pull online, look at him. That, that guy, King Earner, that's online... That's talking about snatching honor where we're meeting him on so-and-so and so-and-so. And guess what? When he come in, all I want you guys to do is just see him walk past me. But you're not planning on you wasn't you it's not a plan to hurt. Like, hold the fuck up. Like, what are we talking about here? You just you just don't want to have a conversation, period. You I feel like the trust. You don't have, you don't talk talk, to the uh, okay, okay. So 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 if your family member was was a tattoo, tell, you would cut them off completely too. Yeah. I have some, and I don't understand. And you would have talked to your if, 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 if you if you would have talked to your brother, anybody closer, you would have talked to them anymore. If they told, listen to what I'm saying. Listen to the question. If you found out your brother was an informant, somebody you grew up with, somebody you close with, you love him, 
He's a foreman. Now you snatches his honor, but does that negate the fact that you still love your brother? Does all that go out the window? You're not going to talk to him at family functions? You're not going to pull him to the side and say what you did is wrong? You're not going to give him those type of conversations? I'm asking I've you. I've had people that I've lived with that became a rat, and I never speak to them ever again. I had people that I... There's people in a joint that'll tell you that. It was a little guy by the name of Samad, and they kept saying, man, he got work on him. I never see it. So one day I come out from the yard, and my homies, Reds and Keenan, they ain't in the cell. They like, they got him in there. I'm like, damn, what's going on in that joint? They like, man, the boy, man, he ain't right. Your young boy ain't right, man. I'm like, what? Get out of here. They like, no, he's not right. So the computers come into jail when they came in. His joint come up. Pure rat. Pure rat. That's all it said. I, I mean, the moms had just said pure rat, pure rat, pure rat, pure rat. And guess what? I went down to the blog and I told him. Stay away from me, don't never speak to me. I could have very well said, yo, listen, go outside to that joint, make a bow face, make a left, and go ahead to the hole and don't come back out that hole. Mm -hmm. But I didn't. It's on the bottom right, B. Okay. 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 So, so, you know. so, listen, man. You know, <clears throat> I, listen, first and foremost, you know, people say you... I just like to question people's motive. It has nothing to do. I'm not, listen, I'm not glorifying anything. You don't know my beliefs. You know what I mean? And my, and my son, actually, my, my, my 15-year-old son, you know, asked me the other day, if I was in 6 9 possession, what would I do? See, I wasn't raised like that. I wouldn't put myself in these positions. I wouldn't put myself in these positions like that. Right. Me. Queen's right. Flip. I wouldn't put myself in a position like that. Right. To even be able to, like, I, I don't believe in that. And if I do get caught up in something like that, I know I'm keeping my honor because how I was raised. Right. Period. You know, me and my cousin, my cousin and I um got locked up with a, with a gun, and my cousin had a, uh he had a prior gun charge, and he had a uh, uh, he was out on bail. Mm -hmm. And my lawyer, you know, and my mother always say this all the time. She said it on YouTube. My lawyer wanted me to tell on him, and, and, and to be honest, my cousin Joker, before we found out we was cousins through marriage. And we was related, our bloodline. Um, I pulled out the gun on him in the car, and police saw him. That's the truth about it. See, people don't know that my mother found out later. But I, we were arguing over something. We was fighting over the gun. I pulled it out, and I pointed at him. He'll get out the car in the back alley. But police <clears throat> followed us because Damn. I had crossed the 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 the, uh, the red light over there on Basley. I right. crossed the red light. I crossed the red light. Now, police told him we saw what he tried to do. He ain't tell. Right. He 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 he. he, he Stood there, he ain't telling me. I heard the police tell him, like, we saw what he tried to do. All we need is your statement, and we and we getting him out of here. He ain't tell. My lawyer wanted me to say the gun was his, because, you know, both our handprints were, because we were tusking for the gun. Right. Like this, but I got I got it out. Like, you know, right before we found out we was related. Right. And um, the point of the matter is that they told me, my lawyer said, yo, we want you to tell on them. To say is his, and I took the gun charge. I go, I say that to say, I was raised different. So I, I, it's not like I'm agreeing with what anybody doing. I'm not agreeing, but I'm, I have to ask these questions of what's your motive if you're going out your way. In my opinion, how I felt, you know. Now I listen to my understanders' opinion, but going into this, like you going out your way, snatching honor of niggas, like okay, you, you snatching honor, nigga. Then the nigga want to meet up with you. You want to meet up, right? Why you ain't want to meet I don't up? Want I don't, listen, I want to This is for everybody. I want to hear my man. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, no I want to hear you. Say, the motive is that's a big figure. He using Alpo because that's a big figure. That's who people attack, they attach to. They know snitching Alpo, he's the biggest snitch. You know, but besides Sammy Gravano, but he ain't black. So Alpo was the biggest figure that we'd attach to. So that's who we talk, he, who we going to talk about. King of Mana, you got the King of the Rats. King of the Rats. So, but, uh, so he's basically doing it to, uh, right. but his motive. So then he's basically doing it the to get recognition. The motive is recognition. I need to reach the youth. That's the so the, that's youth the, the biggest the person youth. that they 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 can relate to. So I'm going to speak to what they can relate to. So the youth is the motive. That's yeah. it. Getting money, he got money. He was at, he reached the pinnacle of getting money. That's what we do this shit for. Mm -hmm. He reached, he got money, and then he also told. So it tells you that is a is a one way street. There's a dead end. So stop recycling crime. Oh, got they it. use this dude to recycle crime. Every that's informant, that's, that's what they use him for. That's it. Bottom people, line. And I respect. I, 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 I saw that, <laughs> man. Because I can get at you later. Uh, you know what I mean? 
you the people say that you robbed the people of Seymour. So you, you you know you stole the money. Well, let, let, know, let, let, let's say this. Let's say this. What's let's, the guy name? What's the, wait? Hold on. What's the guy name? Uh, what's his name? Uh, the guy name. Tell that kid to come forward, man. Was it one person? No, 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 no. I'm gonna pick him up. I'm talking about the guy that they compared guy to that one, that that that, uh, that took the houses that they said took the houses. The uh, it's a guy named from Harlem, man. Not yeah, from Harlem. The guy named in the community, Dude. man. Whoever brother polite. They say you brother oh, and polite right. people. They say you do. Nah, listen. Let me give y'all this though. I lost my mother, right? And when I lost my mother that day, I think I might have had like 321 orders, sent them, boom. Um, the next day I was still, I was cool, had 580 some orders, sending them out, took a deep depression, didn't go to send them out, like nah, I ain't, I see most what, I don't even got time for that, right? With Shopify, you do not get the money. They receive the money. It comes in. You can either fulfill it or you don't fulfill it. I never fulfilled their orders. But after a while, it'll go to the account. Just you guys speaking this. Dang, we got to hurry up. Get a picture, babe. Give me a phone. Hurry up for a hang up because I want to show y'all every charge back that I have over probably like $5,000 that I paid out my own pocket. You dig what I'm saying? So... Why is your voice like that, real quick, so deep? I don't know, man. I think it's because my honor is so intact. It's like <laughs> my vocals is like <laughs> beyond honor, boy. You feel me? <laughs> well, hold on. Look, get that baby. You got that one picture. disgruntled, uh, one disgruntled back. customer out of thousands of people. Like I told everybody, everybody has a, has a or some people you can you can find anybody that has a a disgruntled employee or a disgruntled customer. True. That shit don't mean nothing about the you know the sustainability of the company. That's true. All. True. True. You got thousands of people buying CMOS every day. They don't have complaints. You got True. one person that was, you know. Uh, but it wasn't one. It was about a couple of hundred. So, no, it, so he just said it. The man no, just no, said no, it. No, 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 Oh, no. you talking about those specific that, orders. That I paid back, though. Like, a, yeah. I'm talking about this is the proof. Like, you can see. Um, Let me show you here. I could look, I, would love, I would love to see that. I'm going to show it to you right now. Because I, I believe. I'm going to show you the biggest one. Honor. Hey, listen, ain't going to be able to happen, man. My honor so intact, man. <laughs> I've done myself a New York honor snatcher. Take this picture. Hurry up. Take you this picture. Just gonna snatch it. Oh, you gonna dug honor yourself. From Philly. Who gave you the who gave you the authority to call exactly. yourself the honor? Exactly. You, know, you know what happened? <laughs> <laughs> they go to the rap battle right. you are around, they'll press me, nigga. Your phone is on more. Show him that real quick, please. This is for the people, man. This is for the people, man. man. This is the honor and king earner, man. Yeah. I'm a roast, yo. Hold up. Yo, <laughs> chill out. Chill out. Okay. I see $1,000. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. What's the oh, wow? Oh, Speak to the. Okay. Speaking of Mike, All right. please. The Shopify. Um, it says not. Okay, but I can't really see it because the. the, the, the well, flag. the whole thing in a nutshell. Let me give you this. Let me, let me, let me give you the whole. You see that one. Yeah, I see. There was multiple. There was multiple. It was. It was like more than like five grand. Listen to me. This would okay, let me give you all, okay, let me it. give you the example of stuff. The example is this. Look, drawn from your account. What yeah. happened? What happens is, I give you the understanding. You call you you get in my DM, and when you get in the DM, you say to me, "Yo, I don't got my product." I say to you, "I don't have the money neither." I know you never gave it to me. Mm. You say to me, "Yo." I did gave it to me. I went to your website. I say to you, I never fulfilled it. Anybody that has a Shopify account, they'll say that you have to hit that button fulfill. If you don't, what happens is they're going to automatically try to send. You know what I'm going to do? Know what I done, brother? I told everybody, no, nah, that's not the truth. Call your bank and let your bank know that that, can, that, uh, that certain business that you got it from you never received your product then, if that's what you want to do. I said, I'd rather you do that than call me a liar. And you know what? I paid back over damn near 10 grand. I see it. Over 10 grand, listen to me. And I made sure I stood on it. But you got people that was waiting for me to fail. It was my wife that picked me back up like, yo, listen to me. You can't go out like that. You have to jump on top of the orders of people and give them their money. Give it to them. I'm like, man, you know, I'm just going to turn out to be even though I never even got their money. Shout out to Queen Erna. Shout out to Queen Erna she because me ice she, put me in a, she put me in a position to say, do it. I ain't think I could do it. 
I'm like, damn, babe, 500 to show all this. God damn, we're going to be in a tight situation. She was like, no, why would you be in a tight situation? It's going to come because the haters going to go on the website and say that you done it. You know what that do? Bring more orders. Bring more money. On that note, we have mm. uh, a little bit. This is going on three hours. We have five minutes left. <laughs> um, <laughs> Please give us your Instagram where we can find you and your YouTube, please. King Erna on YouTube. That's K-I-N-G-E-A-R-N-E-R. On Instagram, it is K-I-N-G-E-A-R-N-E-R and number one. Now, my link in the bio is Size Palace. It's my wife catering business. That's her Instagram at Size Palace. Okay, please give it to me so I can be able to... Plug it in on the YouTube. Ain't no well. doubt. And let them know, man. Let them see the gold. Get that, get that bag for me, yeah. so we can show them the gold that we gave him, man. We ain't coming here with no couple joints, man. You know, yeah. and uh, we, we, ain't, we ain't coming here with nothing small, man. You no, know, it's the same mindset of a drug dealer, except it's legal. It ain't dope, man. You know what I'm saying? Look, they don't got this nowhere. I'm, a, I'm, a, I ain't gonna let your grams fall everywhere, but I'm, a, I'm telling y'all the truth. Mm. Ninety-two of that one hundred and two minerals that your body is made of, it's gonna replenish your cell, and guess what? Pops, gonna be like, yo, I wanna see a chick tonight. Because this gonna have him in a, you hear Queen Erna, but listen, I'm telling you the truth. Mm. <laughs> it's all honor. I'm just letting y'all know the truth, man. Thank you. Live and direct. Give me your Instagram. Leak. Uh, Leak Moss underscore O-B-H-G-G, L-I-K-M-O-S-S underscore O-B-H-G-G on all social media. So when I find out that you you out here putting in pain, I, I you know, I, I'm, I'm gonna respect your joint. Oh my goodness! Just make sure you stream, man. Yeah. Stream the music, it's man. Perfect. Speak for itself. Nah, absolute nah. He came up here with with honor. What, what about you, man? Oh man, I'm chess, chess, chess in a minute, man. At chess in a minute, I'm just giving you lessons, valuable life lessons through chess, man. Just teach you to think before you move. That's it. Think oh, you before you play move. actual chess. Actual chess. Man. I can tell. I, 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 I correlate the I correlate <laughs> life to the chess board. That's it. That's my thing. And, and, and you intervene and, and, and give your opinion when yeah, it's not man, asked. When I, I call <laughs> bullshit when I see it, man. Oh. I got you. Well, I, you know, yeah. I, I don't respect the rat lovers and none of that because I call bullshit. Respect? Well, I ain't a rat lover. <laughs> you come with a theme song, man. Sometimes it's your cousin. Sometimes the rat is your cousin. You chill out. I'm about to get you, man. I like you, chill. Sometimes the rat is your cousin. You got to make a hard decision. Ain't no rat my cousin. All my cousins is honorable. You got to listen to that joint. Appreciate y'all, man. Shout out, shout out to uh your homie over there. Who's the you know what I mean? Plan B. Free the men, man. Free the men. Hey, listen. If you don't free the men and you don't say it like it's like you don't have any honor because these brothers should be out here with us. Honor is the action to loyalty. It's the actual act. Free shoddy. That's why you got some honor though, Flip. Because you had me whenever nobody else did. Man, don't. Flip, you having him up there? You tripping, snatch. getting me. You even snatch somebody honor? Come on, you got like three, two minutes left. Snatch somebody honor. God damn. All right, this you is what we're going to I'm going to snatch somebody honor, and I'm going to snatch it good. You got a minute? Some and, I, and I know nobody might not see this, but I'm going to say this. That kitten, that dishonorable Sammy the Bull, his honor snatched. And I'm going to power drive that mutt. That you know why that interview? Going against John Gotti. Shout out to Peter Gotti. Good friend of mine's man. Very good friend. He honors me very well, and I honor him back. And I'm not going to watch the world give that rat Sammy the Bull any type of platform, man. That's live and direct. Sh- sh- shout out to uh, shout out to John Gotti's daughter. Um, uh, let me and shout out to uh, John Gotti Jr., who also you know saluted us. Um, shout out to him. He follows me on Instagram. And I think it's dope. And John Gotti's daughter, let me get her name right. Follow P too. P got a lot of honor to him too. Peter Gotti. Peter Gotti. The name. That's his son also, good dude. Let me see. I just want to make sure that I have this lady's name right. Her name is Angel Gotti. She uh yeah. she said that she watched the interview with uh George Monterano and he spoke highly mm-hmm. about her father and she liked the interview. And is I really he a stand up guy, Georgie? George Monterano was a guy that did thirty two years without with, uh, for non-violent crime uh, for having marijuana. And the reason why they gave him 32 years is because his father was a mob boss and he wouldn't tell on his father. Mm. <laughs> Much wow. honor to him. Right. And, so, to I, you know, and, and I ask you, I, you know, I, you know and I'm going to ask you this. When you go home, I'd like you to watch uh, Flip the Script 114 and I would like you 
to watch it and do the research. And I would like you to do a story and then I'll post it on my page. I'll share it. Because right. I want you to do a story yeah. on, because we, we, we love all people. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I feel that, you know, I really, because I really want to hear what you say, how you break that down. Okay. You know what I mean? George Monterano, he did 32 years because he wouldn't tell on his father. His father got killed in the mob. You know, the mob killed, you know, your father got killed in 07. But he wouldn't fold on his father. So he took the 32 years and he took, right. you know, I guess he got pardoned. But he, you know. Uh, and, I, got a, I got a meet at the Apollo anyway after this, hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> well, on that note, we signing our man at DJ G Money 156 at Flip the Script Pod at Queens Flip with a Z. You know what I'm saying? Never classic joint. What are you feeling? <laughs> you feeling good? You all right? Sign up for the camera show, man. Uh, I'm just making sure. Uh, you slick. <laughs> yeah, this Queens Flip, man. You know what I mean? URLTV.TV, man. Remember every Friday, we not at nowhere. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, listen, man. Oh everybody God. have their opinion. I have mine, but I salute everybody that stand on their square. Nobody can, you know. Like I said, we're not responsible. You know, we've been getting a lot of hit up, especially with the. Oh, which one stop? Um, yeah, this, this one, one. forty something seconds. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of hit ups, especially with the bully interview. But listen, it is what it is. Remember, lock your doors, close your windows, close your blinds, open your blinds. And if you see a nigga like King Erno on your lawn, <laughs> you don't need a firearm. Nah, let him in, because he don't mean no harm. I'm from Queens. Good guy. <laughs> this nigga scheme. Hold on. <laughs> but if you see Leak on your lawn, don't be afraid to use a firearm. Nigga. Get you him see, away from and me. If see, and if you see uh, <laughs> Malcolm, Malcolm next on your lawn, don't I'm be afraid to use a firearm, man. Get him out of here, man. I'm from Queens. Let King Erno in. <laughs>